will be a superhero. What the fuck? I didn't even hear him come in. <laughs> nah, I saw I saw him come in. Uh, no. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about, but it sounds interesting. We talking about, about we talking we're about we're talking about how our, all of our favorite uh, YouTubers are pedophiles. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Let's say this for the podcast. We got to get into EDP today. <laughs> this is the podcast. You hear recording? Maybe. <laughs> Not, y'all got OBS running. We ain't did the startup. We got to do the introduction. No, lead us, bet, lead us, open and banter. <laughs> it's really not. It's, it's not. not I, just, I, just, I just <laughs> hope that nothing. Fuck it. What? No matter. It really don't matter. <laughs> All right. So when are we starting recording? You just sounded really sped up. What Anybody else hear that? Yeah, I heard that. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I thought he was concerned. just talking fast. Like, I, I ain't never heard a girl to do anything that fast. That scared me. Wow. Wow. Uh, I'm not wrong. wrong. Fuck you. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wrong for saying it, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Leave all this bullshit in. This is funny. Uh, I still got to go back and listen to that episode. All right. When are we hitting start recording? One, two, three. All right, perfect. Now, what was you going on about uh, right before we started recording? All right, what's good, y'all? It's your, it's your fucking boy, Invincible, uh, a.k.a. Garland, a.k.a. Trey Hand. It's a lot. It's a lot of names. I come with a lot of monikers. Rule of three. Rule of three. <laughs> and, you know, it's me, your boy, uh, Skinny Penis. What? The mm-hmm. nah. one. Oh, fuck no. Why are you with it? Yo, what's happening? Wait, what the fuck? I'm not going to knock another man's moniker. He want to be known as Skinny Penis. He he, he SP in the house. Let's get it. (laughs) Syringe. Get it with a long dick. Oh, God. (laughs) Oh, Lord. (laughs) That's gonna be used in isolation somewhere. I hate it here. Anyway, uh, oh, I thought you was MC. We no, were no, no, you no, do no, it. No, I fucking yeah, you got right. to order the other co-host. We don't have to edit this down to this side. Around. Yeah, fuck that. The other co-host, you know, Mugen Storm Blessed. Nigga, nobody know my government. The fuck? That's yeah. the fuck you have said it before. Man, I've been right. trying to avoid saying his name for the past like whole fucking month. Yeah. I finally just got down story. I'm like, bro. Oh, yeah, ain't hey, no one said my first name. All right, we're gonna start. Yeah. You can't be uh, back to people. That ain't cool. Yeah, we're gonna start over. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the podcast. It's your boy Storm Bless. Say less. No, we're here today on episode four, and I'm joined by the usual cast. We got D Money to over here to my internet left. Don't call me D Money. They got uh, we got Big Black Mono, aka D Money, aka FP. We'll let him describe what that means. We got the boy Invincible. <laughs> yeah. And we joined by the ever president, Clay Miser. Howdy. He said something other than uh hello this time around. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're, and good, boy, we're, we're talking we're about there. everybody's favorite subject, which is all of your favorite YouTubers are pedophiles. Oh, that ain't my favorite subject. <laughs> <laughs> According to the internet, because whenever a YouTuber comes out as being Whenever a YouTuber comes out as being a pedophile, it's like all anybody can talk about for like a week and a half. And then, pretty, but it's my pretty thing newsworthy. is, is con- people are going to go back to not giving a fuck. So what? Give a fuck now. It, it's usually like, it's like not give a fuck, but, but for that person, it's everything. <laughs> okay, but then don't let it drop off the face of the fucking earth in a week. Well, it's, it's important. A- Let's keep talking about it. If it's important. Well, it's one of those things was like in, in internet terms, a week, two weeks of just constant coverage is like a lifetime. That's enough to destroy a person. We saw we go down with Sky Williams. We saw we go down with EDP, who is the one who's the current topic of discussion. 
Who the fuck is Scott Williams? Oh, Scott Williams. How do, how do, I, how do I start? The man don't wanna did know. If I don't the wanna fly. Know, okay. It's not, his isn't as bad as EDP. His is bad, but like... Right. Yeah, I his mean, was just more negligence than anything else. Yeah, like, he I'd had a lot of shady shit going on around him. I'd be real disconnected from a lot of shit these days. I ain't never heard of that motherfucker in my life. Which is kind of funny because he was one of like the premier black YouTubers. But he didn't used to be a Power Ranger. Am I thinking of another black YouTuber? I'm what? pretty sure you're thinking of another black YouTuber. Guys, <laughs> yeah. it was, it's another YouTuber out there who's like he like does videos and whatnot. And he used to be the kid black Power Ranger. The kid yeah. black Power Ranger. He ain't Power Ranger material. What kid black Power Ranger? I can look at him and tell you that. <laughs> talking about the angry that the. the Angry, black angry nerd. I know. I met him at TwitchCon. Other than that, I don't know who the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> Man, we'll let uh, 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 Noir get into the whole Sky William thing, and then we'll move into EDP. No, no, because I actually I think you know more about the whole uh, Sky Williams thing than I do. I know the more or less. I only know about Sky Williams because when you had told me, like, did you see the shit that's going down? I was like, no, what the fuck is happening? And I only knew Sky Williams from like I seen like his stuff that he did with like League of Legends back in the day and the stuff that he did with Dunkey. Yeah. And then after okay. that, That's I just I remember this long, this long tirade of him of doing content and stuff. I'm saying, don't worry, guys, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna be back. And then he never came back. And then he came back. He's like, I'm so sorry, guys, for being so gone. And then one video later, and he's gone for eight more months. I'm damn it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be back one day. I swear to God. And then the next thing you know, he's like, guys, I'm getting arrested. <laughs> oh. All right. And, and then he did that that stream that that made that meme. This ain't it, kid. Get really, really Ooh. big on Twitter. So then, the, yeah. uh, the, the run now with Scott Williams, the, the skinny is he um he 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 started a gaming house as most YouTubers tend to do these days. So you get big in the game house, get all your buddies together so y'all can record and just have easier access to each other. Problem <laughs> is, <laughs> problem is, Sky Williams is a it, com- it comes out that he's a he's a very manipulative, passive aggressive um, person, and that led to a lot of like just degeneracy going on in the house and like. This just very immature ways he handled conflict within the house, and he was very controlling because he was the big money in the house, while at the same time not collecting money from people operating on favors because, you know, we have leverage over someone that gives you control over them. And the big thing which caused all this to blow up was he let an um, underage girl end up living there who was living with another person who was standing in the house, and they were sleeping in the same bed in the same room, and, like, they were, like, utilizing her, like, savant levels of like artistry for like different projects and this one dude kind of air quotes took him under her wing and sky didn't do anything about it and like it got dark fast and like the girl kind of like is traumatized by it all this gets revealed like text messages and conversations come out from the house they find out they find out that sky williams is broke he's borrowed a buttload of money from a bunch of people and it ain't looking good. He does like this, the stream where he comes out and tries to lay everything out. And it's just like, yo, dog, this seems like the kind of conversations you have between you and your lawyer before you do any of this. And it just blows up and the guy and kind of went dark for, ever since. This was about, what, a year ago? Damn, has it really been that long? Fuck. Just about. I think that's when we did our video on it when we were still doing the other podcast. Yeah. And, and like right really- after that... Yeah, the Smash thing happened. The whole Smash community fucking disintegrated. Imploded because a lot of them were pedophiles. And it's just like, it's a lot of degeneracy in the video game community. Who knew? Video games, kids. Hmm. That's fucked up. My father was a gamer, so naturally he was violent. (laughs) I was actually working with someone who was involved in that, the the version of the Twitch version of that shit. (laughs) I ain't gonna say his name because Let's fuck that guy. But, yeah. yeah, you don't want to bring any publicity, but like, give us some from some ground level coverage of what went down. Cause I didn't know much about the Twitch level. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what happened with the some Twitch, Twitch level? level the Twitch level was a couple of guys just being overly creepy with chicks. Like, I don't know. The thing with with like a lot of stream shit is boundaries are weird Mm -hmm. so a lot of people do the fucking most and then they're like whoa i didn't 
So I was not trying to sign up for this. And then, yeah, people people started speaking out, and people's names were coming out. It was like, see, there's Twitch, and then there's like Black Twitch. Mm-hmm. And Naturally. a lot of motherfuckers came out in the regular Twitch, which would be the Caucasian side. Uh, <laughs> why why'd you say it like that? Say it like that. <laughs> that? Yeah. I'm speaking on specifically like the black Twitch. It was like, fuck. This is people we've known for years. Mm-hmm. This is people that we have supported, fucking took pictures with. I, I didn't fucking snapped it up at events with, with dude ass. Fucking, we worked on a podcast together. It was a lot of people that fucked with certain people that got wait, exposed wait. and just like fuck. Wait, who, 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 you just who the hell are these people? Streamers. Yeah, but who are they? This is so vain. Like, what? who are the streamers? Wait, before yeah, you go in, let's put it like this. Before you start with a thing, so I'm not going like. If, if it involves kids, it's probably before you get into it, are any no, of these allegations know. like, okay, are any of these allegations like confirmed like yo, they were grooming people or they were, like, taking advantage of fans or, like, you know, like, concrete evidence of, like, yo, they were doing shady shit. I mean, it wasn't necessarily grooming. It was just, like, motherfuckers sending dick pics or motherfuckers trying to use their status to get some cool. It wasn't... I wasn't saying that it was, like, kitty diddler level. I was saying it was that this was a... Ver- Twitch had a version of Me Too that happened. Oh, okay, so, like... Other- just like just like in the video game and, and movies, that was that happened on Twitch is what I'm saying. Okay, I'm glad you didn't drop any names because we're we're kind of avoiding that because those got a lot of gray area to it that can get complicated when oh, talking also, about that. I don't wanna speak to them motherfuckers. And that's what I'm saying. Like we're going into the whole EDP thing and while like we want to talk about this is because oh, yeah, but he's EDP, nationally known. So. Yeah, EDP is somebody who's big, who had a following and like people believed in him who was he's out here diddling kids. And it's confirmed that he was doing that. And he's not like an outlier. A lot of people get into these social circles and start taking advantage of their name to like take, to screw over people. Yes, but for the black Twitch side, it wasn't like kids, to my knowledge. Okay, to cool. So it wasn't kids. It was motherfuckers trying to be creeps, but to other adults. Okay, that's still messed up. But this ain't EDP. No yeah, way. That, but that shit did happen on the other side of Twitch. Uh, so yeah, the, the it, just, it was just fucked up because like even even it's people that like I ain't saying it's all pieces of rainbows. Like everybody don't necessarily fuck with each other in the whole in the black and like everybody ain't get along in the whole fucking black Twitch community. But we kind of all we get a lot of people get lumped in with other shit. <laughs> a lot of people get lumped in together sometimes. I mean, guilty by association. Oh. That should happen. And like, mm-hmm. and like, motherfuckers would know each other. Mm-hmm. And it's just, it's fucked up. Cause like, damn. Now, how the fuck do I have to respond to this? Like, this is somebody that I, that I like hang out with. <laughs> All right. Can't fucking hang out with you no more. And then it's like, but it's different when you do business with the motherfucker. Like, mm-hmm. like, it was something we was building up, mm-hmm. and now all that shit got to go away. Cause you, fuck, cause you uh, fuck, well, you I gotta ask you: Does it necessarily have to go away? Because, like I was saying, depending on the level of the allegations and the validity of it, can, can a person rise above their shortcomings to be better? Like, as long as it ain't involving kids Everybody or like grooming or molestation, <laughs> like what? Yeah, you themselves? Can, you can have a progeria. Did, everybody didn't try to. Everybody didn't try to make amends. Is my point. Some people, there's some some people went about it a a oh. wrong way, and oh, damn, that's good instead brand. of instead of you know recognizing it, they just kind of like oh fuck it, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna act like it didn't happen. But um, that is a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a weird position to be in because like like uh, 
you know what I was saying? Um, it could be a progeria situation where on the surface it looks bad, but the second you start asking more questions and paying attention to more than what's being put out there, you realize there's a whole narrative being pushed and that, yeah, this ain't what it looks like. I don't even know what progeria it, 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 it is. Uh, you didn't hear about the progeria situation? That, that's some one of the rare cases of somebody who got, um, they beat cancel culture. Um, somebody yeah. basically put, painted a target on his head and was like, like got a bunch of his private conversations and a lot of stuff going on in his private life and then contorted it so it looked like he was out here, you know, on creep shit, sending dick pics to people who didn't want him, cheating on his wife and all that. And then he showed up with receipts like we had an open relationship. The people I was talking to were all adults who were consenting with it, who we didn't hooked up with before. The nudes I was sending was the people who wanted these nudes, like these all Photoshop. <laughs> Receipts like, yeah, when you just look at it as, oh, right, he was sending pictures out to fans. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Or like, he was cheating on his wife and all that. It looks terrible. But then he showed up with the receipts and was like, no, this is what was going on. Now, you can say what you want about my private life, but that's none of your business. But I'm saying, and he ended up, that. yeah, and that's people what I'm saying. That, like, people that did that, you know, there were people that understood. There are people mm-hmm. that weren't, but there are still people that understood. Mm-hmm. And that's where it comes in to like the response to it. Do you actually have to have something to say, or do you just let it let sleeping dogs lie until it involves you? And I'm asking you this because you, you were in the middle of the Twitch thing. Like you know, you were there. You were cool with these people. I, I cut them off. Especially especially this one. I know. Because he was like Slick like the worst, not the worst offender, but he was, but he was up there. But the motherfucker exposed himself. I don't even look. I can't get it. He exposed himself. It's it's a lot. <laughs> it's it's a lot of shit going. On. Like, what do you mean? Yeah, it sound bad. Like, what do you mean? Like, did, did he get like caught and he just went out there? And he pulled a Scott Williams and like told on himself. Like, oh, no, that motherfucker tried to get ahead of it. Oh, <laughs> and, oh, and oh, so man. he was like, he put out a big ass. A big ass twit longer about it. And it was like, all right, well, thanks for exposing yourself, creep. It's, it's like, what the fuck? Not everyone could like, be a I David Letterman. I don't know if you thought you was going to get like some brownie points or oh, for Or Tony Angry Joe. Because Angry Joe had a similar situation. Yeah, he got some chick came at him. He was just like, look, I'm just going to get a lawyer. Get your lawyer, lady. And that's all he said about it. People started like, you know, the, the wolves came out and tried to cancel him, but he did the smart thing, got a lawyer, and told her to show up in court, prove I did this to you, and prove, like, I'm the creep you say you are, and the shit went away what? real fast. How the fuck, oh, do you, shit. How the fuck do you prove somebody? Because you, that, that, that's, that's um, slander. You can't just say something like that without any evidence. A lot, that's what, that's a lot of times, some, not all the time, but sometimes this stuff comes out as somebody <clears> with an agenda <throat> trying to take somebody down. And they're using the internet mob to do it. And if you don't respond to it properly, yeah, your your whole your whole life's work can be destroyed overnight. But Angry Joe is one of the people who responded to it the, the best way possible because he had a bunch of people ready to call him a creep and destroy him. And he was like, no, meet me in court and prove this shit on record before you go out and start putting our putting our business out there. And then, you know, he didn't hold up in court, everything went away. Damn, that's probably why I didn't hear about it. I'm exactly. this is new to me. Yeah, what? this this was this not even I don't even think this is three years old. Like the chick came for him on Twitter, trying to get the Twitter mob on him, making videos, and he was just like, All right, see you in court. That's the only thing he tweeted out. And it was a bunch of people trying to come at him, like people who he thought was friends, was like already ready to dive to dive on him, man. Cleared that shit right up and he found out who his real friends were real quick, too. Damn, bet. Yeah. You yeah, know man. what? I never, I didn't hear of that when that happened. But you know what blew mine? One day I was, so I listened to the Joe Budden podcast a lot. One and most of the time I was listening to it, it was on my commute to work back when I was working at the school. Mm-hmm. Where I found out that every time Drake, like Drake, got accused of like a paternity test, he had to go to court for that shit. Like, I mean, like that shit is a reality for rappers. It's a reality for anybody with any kind of clout or money. People, the wolves are always there. The sharks are always circling, looking but for blood. Then that just made me think, like, how many bitches is trying to was trying to put babies on Drake before he had his actual kid? Like, we'll they made it sound like that should happen a lot. Fitty. <laughs> I mean, somebody like Drake smashing as much as he do probably likes to do it raw. You know, hey man, look. 
God. You know, for a fact, he making bitches sign NDAs nowadays. Like, nowadays. That's, like, that's just... <laughs> You want this one night? All right, sign this, this contract. What's the yeah? What's that? What's that Chappelle sketch? Uh, the sexual contract or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> ah, fuck! Somebody put that clip in later. <laughs> I don't care if we get demonetized. Somebody put that clip in later. They can claim that. But, <laughs> I know. I know. Mon- we get got to get monetized. To get uh, to get <laughs> I mean, to yeah. be fair, when we was doing our movie podcast, when we were editing the clips from the movies, we were getting demonetized like immediately. Mm-hmm. That's why we had to stop doing that. Yeah, you, yeah, they got like, claimed. But yeah, yeah, we weren't monetized, but they still got claimed, and it still was like, hey, if it ever does become monetized, you fuck. We won't. Yeah, yeah, but All you, right. you would have, you could have handled that when it got there. My fault. Nah, even the like, couple cents we would have got with a few hundred views, and they would have taken it. So it's like, yeah, it's yeah. a headache. I don't, like red letter media, that they, they big enough to where they don't have to worry about that kind of shit. So, like, I'll I don't never, know how they get away yeah. with it. I'll never forget that I could have made like five hundred dollars off of one video, because I uh, I used to have a previous channel right called the Fireball Kid Five Hundred, and I used to post like manga reviews and like MMA highlights and stuff back in high school, and I'll never get it because to this day before it got deleted before I deleted it it was the most uh, you guys may have like heard about the fight between Jake Paul and Ben Askren Ben Askren. Uh, is a notoriously boring fighter to most of the MMA community who don't really care about wrestling, right? I care about wrestling. I care about jujitsu and that shit. So I was like the only person who made a highlight reel for him, and I had play that funky music white boy on it. It was a horrible highlight video, right? But by, <laughs> by all said and done, it had like 250,000 views, and this was like 2010, 250,000 views. So it would have made bank, but yeah. obviously the song got claimed. <laughs> And and that was like five hundred dollars. They're like, and we want all that money. I was like, ah, that sucks. Fuck. And like for the longest time, and I still think there's barely any Ben Askren highlight videos now. But for the longest time, mine was at the top of the list as a Ben Askren highlight video. And eventually, I took it down because it really was shit, and I just didn't want anybody to see it. Anymore. <laughs> all right, real quick, real quick. Um, Congratulations. I know this, we don't fucking do pop culture, but the Oscars, congratulations to Soul for winning best animated movie. And uh Wait, two didn't Kubo and the didn't Kubo oh. and the Two Strange come out to be nominated this year? Kubo I don't what, know about what? none of that shit, but was that Soul this won. year or last year? Oh, you did you say Kubo? Kubo Kubo? Yeah, Kubo. That was like that was like Three years ago, bro. All right, cool. Four. I was draw. I was draw the the, oh, the statement I had. I'm leaving it alone. Go ahead. Four, no, five years ago. Oh, Ooh, shit. God damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I, I, lay off the pay, Hody. Yo, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, shout out to do two distance traces for winning, for winning the Oscar for best live action short film. Let's say that for later. We can discuss that because we still were trying to move into the latest law cow, which is the EDP situation. That's what yeah. we was the whole reason we was. What, oh, what does low count mean? Uh, uh, do you want to handle this? <laughs> this your wheelhouse. Oh, um, a, a low cow is basically a a person who <laughs> pretty much just just their activities and stuff. They the their online persona, or even if it's not a persona, just their online presence is just like meme material content. And so, a perfect example is off the top of my head. Uh, dark side Phil, low tier guy. Uh, <laughs> my absolute favorite, uh, Wings of Redemption. I just, I can't, uh, I can't stop okay. following Wings, up on that. Mother- Wings, oh my right, god, say less, say yeah. less. I got it. <laughs> yeah. He knows Wings. Look here, <laughs> look, listen. Say less. I can't, I can't keep doing this, man. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't take this shit. No oh, fuck. <laughs> Brandon doesn't show up. But yeah, a log cow is somebody whose whole online presentation it, and like persona is just humorous. People get enjoyment out of watching them because everything they do is just kind of it has just an air of sadness and just oh, depressing God. depression to it, but it's self-inflicted, so you can't feel bad for them because it's like, yo, just get off the internet. Oh, shout so out Shadow Clip. Cl- <laughs> so Dashy when he play uh what's that fucking game? Mario Maker? <laughs> Uh, and not a, it, it, it's usually in a negative light. Yeah. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Fuck all this bullshit. 
So please, somebody explain the EDP situation to me. Because I've been trying to do it. We was talking about the Twitch thing. Yeah, Storm had already sent me the videos. uh, And I was like, you know what? I actually don't want to watch them yet. I really just want to hear what everybody else has to say about it. I want to have that nice water cooler moment of people filling me in about one of my favorite underground creators of all time. Because I was a big fan of EDP. One of your favorites? Bro, Ooh, I whatever. That, I, I don't know what video when I saw, it, but the video he was like, he was like, he's like, I have something to tell you guys. I just beat my dick so hard that it went numb, <laughs> and, uh, and now it now it feels weird when I take a piss. And I was like, that was the greatest video I ever saw in my entire life. Like I would show that video what to everybody, and so <laughs> it was dumb. It was weird. It was fucking I stupid. Guess. I was like, I I like this guy. And, so and that's here, like, and that's like the like epitome of like his work is either him talking about his dick or talking about taking a shit. Because the video I knew him from was him taking a shit at a fucking Chipotle and him recording himself so walking out. So I was like, man, I, just, I gotta get asked with the biggest shit and flood the toilet. And it's just like this is fucking degenerate. <laughs> so fucking yeah, that shit is so fucking degenerate. That shit is so fucking but, like, so dumb. And try but like, he, again. We were talking about this earlier, like a previous weeks ago. I can't judge nobody ratchet. If if people enjoy that shit, they enjoy that shit. Yeah, true. So that that was his, that was some people's level of ratchet because he had a huge following. And one million. Uh, one million. Yeah. So my thing is the reason that I, I actually don't even fuck with EDP because I'm a big chisel oh. diamonds man. <laughs> Bro, Are you saying you're a chisel? Bro. I don't even know. Can we get into EDP? We can get into these tangents in a second. Uh, I'm just saying like, they had beef, is all I'm saying. <laughs> EDP was talking shit. I bet um, he was. He always talking about shit. So EDP, he um he, he's a bit of a law cow. People enjoy him because he's just kind of a degenerate. And it, he's been accused of being a um a child molester for a long time now. Like apparently there's allegations it's, all over the place. This was Wait, his a long time? offense. That's what no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get to the amount of offenses. So the the, the complaints have coming in, and this other YouTube channel who makes a habit of like exposing um, pedophiles and like exposing people who like little kids and sets them up and basically does the predator uh, poachers. Yeah, to catch a predator, they do that. That's what they're called. No, uh, they're called predator poachers. Just like a makeshift garage catch a predator. Gotcha. Cool. So catch, catch the predator. So they've been getting a bunch of uh. uh inboxes about EDP so they, they set him up. They set up like a like a I think he they mentioned he'd been talking to the girl since February and he went to go meet up with them in like what was it May? I mean uh no this was this was April I'm sorry they started back started talking to him back in February and it was a sting operation they pretended to be two different girls two different 13 year old girls and was chatting with him over the course of several weeks and eventually they convinced him to show up to an apartment complex in the middle of nowhere, and they, they called him on camera. They, they, they called him in four fifty k. I'm sorry, four hundred and forty five k. Did you know four four five equals thirteen? Right. Like, you know. Oh my god. Oh my god. He told us what he was gonna do, man. He told us. He let us he know he was doing. He gave y'all the mathematics. <laughs> don't 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 time now into this. <laughs> EDP, <laughs> that preschool. That's Illmatic, not mathematics. <laughs> you knew what I was talking about, though. But uh, yeah, so they they did this thing operation, got him on camera. He talking about they, they caught him trying to get some cupcakes, as he said. <laughs> and it, it, it's kind of tragic because you can tell this is just a deeply disturbed man. It's and, tragic how cool he was about the shit. I just saw the video today. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was watching it on stream with some of my homies. He, he, he was wasn't so cool he, about the he, shit. Like he don't, like he didn't give a fuck. No, like, he gave he, a fuck at the end when they threatened to call the cops and the nigga started crying. I missed that part. Yeah, he started crying literally. But in the beginning of the video, of the video, his not give a fuck meter was up and it was stuck. You hear me? Like yeah. he, he, didn't I bet. he didn't give one fuck. He was like, "Yeah, I know she's thirteen. Yeah, I said that shit. I said, whoa, what, what? And, then, and then over the course of the conversation, because they just start kind of grilling them during the video, and they, they, they're nowhere as good as Chris Hansen in these situations. But yeah, it was, no, it was, no. it was, um, 
But also, with Chris Hansen, the motherfucker was butt ass. By a couple of motherfuckers was butt ass by the time he came out. Yo, he he had the dick him down fit on. He had the flip flops, the t shirt, and the shorts. He was ready. (laughs) (laughs) And the shades on. He was ready with the fit. And over the course of the conversation, like they just grilling him, and like he basically admits that this is this is not his first rodeo. This would have been his uh, seventh uh, victim. But he lied and said, "This is this. Oh, this no. This no, is it's probably time. more." He he said the second time after they like they they caught him in his lie. He was like, "Well, oh. about six times." I know what I mean. My second, my second. It's like which one is it? So nine times out of ten, it's somewhere between. It's, he's probably banged two, but attempted it six times. That's what I'm getting from that statement. Oh, this was the seventh, the seventh attempt overall. That that he told us. You know how you gotta do with these kind of numbers? You gotta multiply. <laughs> Where did Jay come? Oh my god! Oh Man. my god! And yeah, and then they released the yeah. chat logs. They did a video where they just read through the chat logs. And this man was like, he, he was he coming was giving at this... it up, disgusting in the DMs. Yeah, he he was just he was on girl. it. He he was sending a soul out to this girl. Like he, he thought he found his soulmate. Oh, she likes it when I send her pictures of my shit. Like you don't find this everywhere. Oh, whoa, that. whoa, he whoa! Said, wait, I wait, 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 wait! Mind control over me to a thirteen-year-old. This nigga is thirty. Well, hey, wait, wait a second back the fuck up what do you mean like are you saying like metaphorically speaking she likes it when i send her shit what no he Literally. said he sent her a picture of the shit he Run took a, a shit and then sent it to her yeah literally <laughs> like it was cool. the start of the chat log too yeah the start was, and it's a yeah. chat log yeah. yeah he was all and like whenever he was talking to he was always talking about how i'm like taking a shit or jerking off and it's just like yo like, yeah. can you hold hands first, my nigga? Like, even we can't skip the fact you fucking thirteen, and we are like, we gonna dive into this. Like, even if you was talking to a girl, a woman your age, why you keep talking about you taking shit and jerking off off jump? Right. Insert white man <laughs> blinking meme here. Yeah, yeah. F Christ. <laughs> Jesus H. Jesus Hong Christ. Wow. Wow. Dude, he oh, he weren't fucking around. He was giving it up. Disgusted at the DM. Yeah. And he was, and it was a classic case of he was trying to groom this young girl. And oh yeah, his 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 bullshit excuse was they came to me, so since they came to me, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I, but but they came to my, me like I was the Pied Piper. But here was <laughs> my issue with the chick. R. Kelly was telling us too, by the way. <laughs> the Pied Piper Lewis kids. <laughs> I don't know, but ever since that shit, I can never. So I, I, can, him hard belly. <laughs> I can't never hear it seem like you're ready again. That shit is wild to think about. Man, and some of some of Leah's uh, fucking catalog too, but we ain't gonna talk. Yeah, about ain't that. nothing but a number. She was R. Kelly was a producer on that shit. Like, yo, yeah. we're not even getting into that. That's a whole separate thing. Uh, but man, but like. Oh, I was gonna say, but yeah, he was he was he was saying that he didn't like. Oh, what I was done with him was he put it on his dead mom. Yeah, he tried to bring. No, no, he didn't put it on her. He brought up as like my mom didn't raise he no said, creeps. My mom ain't dead. My mom ain't raised no creeps. That's yeah, putting it on I, his she... dead mama. I know niggas. We all know a nigga in Chicago that done lied on their dead homie. But yo, my dead mama, my nigga. Like, yeah, we all know niggas who yeah. relied on their damn mama like that. Who, who, nigga, that, that's that's the go to. Are you lying and you trying to search for anything? It, look, I know. Look, we're not going region lock this podcast, but in Chicago, and maybe, maybe in your, you know, they didn't know we was in Chicago country. until you said something. Dog. I'm probably gonna edit this part out. Just gonna let let, let you know. So keep going. Pretty, Fuck it. Pretty, in a hood near in you, Chicago, we talked about the red line. That too. We did. No, no, that was episode zero. We lost most of that. Anyway, in that a was hood like near, no, 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 whatever. In right. a hood near you, somebody gonna put it on their dead homie, on their kids, or on their. I hate when motherfuckers put some shit on their grandma. It's usually the grandma when you know they lying because they don't want to lie on their mama. They might lie on their grandma, then hang on. They lied on his mama. They got there. He went there. He took it there. That's my point. And that is that is what that's just fucking that shit broke me. Like I I was so done after that. That's when I changed the channel. Like like I was like I left. I was like I'm good. 
So you missed I, it when at the end of the video he um I, shit. I missed all that shit. Yeah. yeah, my thing they really got me was just like just even from a pragmatic sense, like dog, why the fuck are you still talking to these dudes? <laughs> You know okay, what you did. My, you okay. know they hit. Like I understand his thought process, but it just baffles me that yo, you should just leave and be like, yo, look, y'all want to have this conversation, get some lawyers, get the cops, I'm out. All right. So my other issue with this, first of all, uh, it was told to me that the interviewer is racist. Like mm-hmm. he, like he be going around just. Mm-hmm. just um. Yeah. Apparently, he, he called. Around. <laughs> yeah, he called. He calls like Black Lives Matter organizations and like. Calls them all types of n words and whatnot. That's what I heard. I don't. It ain't confirmed. Ah, oh, the plot thickens. Oh my God. Yeah. But, but that's beside like the point. I don't think it is. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he races, you can dislike him for it. That is some scumbag stuff. But what he did in this instance no, my, isn't okay. tied to that. My other point is now. A lot of this, if they were going to the police, a lot of this evidence is inadmissible because of this bullshit investigation he has done. Actually, <laughs> it's my point. no. The only reason it could be technically inadmissible is because, like, he he did it for he did it for clout. Like, he hyped up this video, had it for yeah, a while, like, and sat on the evidence because he wanted to get as much attention to his channel off of EDP's downfall. That so is now, scumbagish. Yeah, and the like, fact it is, it could technically fall under entrapment because he. Technically, EDP did not do anything with a third with the, a child. He did it with a bunch of plants. This so time. technically, they don't have anything on him. But the fact yeah. that he stood and had that conversation and admitted to prior crimes—that's what might get him. Like that might take him down. He might not see jail time due to this, but his career is done. That much I is heard, true. I heard that he deleted all the channels. I didn't all the videos on his channel. I didn't go check. I'm gonna oh, go shit. check now. Yeah, he only got like five videos on his channel. Last I checked, I don't even see his channel. <laughs> so eventually, it's gonna get to YouTube, and it's just gonna take my, him down in general. I don't see the channel. This motherfucker might be might be gone already. Yeah, he, he, he terminated, gone. nuked. Yeah, that, that that I was waiting on that to happen. But yeah, like okay. So the reason I said that the reason I said about the shit being intermixed was because I actually just watched this fucking show on Netflix called uh, "Why Did You Kill Me." And it was, it was about this this lady that had got that had got killed, and what at first seemed to be just a random ass shootout, and the family was fucked up about it, but they knew it was tied. They knew they knew what gang it was tied to, so these motherfuckers decided to go on MySpace because this was MySpace was popping at the time. Just story happened to like oh five oh four or some shit like that. Yeah, they went on MySpace. They made a fake account. They made two fake accounts. One using some random girl, and the other one using the dead girl as the profile pictures to, and then befriended all the gang members. And then we're trying to do an investigation and dig up dirt on who killed their relative. And. They almost prevented any of the motherfuckers from going to jail for this bullshit Scooby Doo fucking mystery incorporated shit. So that's what I'm saying. If the shit that they could have used can't, pro- it possibly can't be used now. It, it isn't, but I can tell you why not. It isn't because of that. It's because if you pay attention to the video when they called the cops at the end, even the cops is like, "What do y'all want me to do? Is he there with the thirteen-year-old girl now?" No, but we have evidence. It's like that's not how any of this works. At uh, best, yeah. they're going to socially crucify the guy. You want know to say some question? Uh, another point someone brought up with like, uh, they're like, "Oh, why didn't the cop like show up or whatever?" Mm-hmm. Which you know, like, I get it, but same time, it's like from like a cop's point of view, you got these random motherfuckers like, "Hey, show up, show up." And yeah. it's like, uh, and uh, and if you ask me, it ain't now's not really a great time to be a cop in the public eye. Even that's kind of besides the point. It's honestly more so because it's just some random independent group demanding he show up when he technically isn't committing a crime. If they really yeah. wanted to take him down, they should have went to the cops first and had them there when they showed up with the state. And besides, like how protect, to catch a predator had it, the cops were there. Yeah, they were in on it. The cop had nothing to do with it. Legit a clout chase. What's up? Uh, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Catch Predator. Uh, in the first season, 
they the cops were not involved, but after it was such a success, they were like, yo, we should probably get involved with this. And so yeah, isn't, that how, isn't that how they caught one guy twice in the same day? Like yeah. they caught him uh-huh. early in the morning. Later in the evening, and he was right there at the McDonald's. Like, yeah. hey, you just saw us He's like three like, hours I ago. Have been like, in television for 20 years, and never have I been at a loss for words. <laughs> over and over. I just get something to eat. I just get something to eat. <laughs> it's like, yo. <laughs> yo. Yo, speaking of great shit on YouTube, because that's where I watched most of this. Like, I watched most of this on clips on YouTube. My favorite shit is fucking 60 Days In. I don't What's know that? what the fuck they on. Yo, I, yo, stop. Pause. What is 60 Days In? 60 Days In is where they get civilians. Either just regular random motherfuckers like a school teacher or a librarian, or motherfuckers that's trying to be like trying to get into law enforcement. So like a couple of times there's been like wannabe cops or retired cops or security guards or some shit like that. And they go into these jails for two months and try to get information on contraband, drugs, gangs. The All fuck? that shit. I'm under the impression this doesn't work out very well. Yeah. I mean, a couple of the motherfuckers be getting their ass whooped. Like I'm, I'm they sure. be real fucking inmates. Other other people don't just don't is be this, fucking. Is this the this adult was, version of Scare Straight? What what, what are you like, saying? Why were you Scare Straight was the adult version of Scare Straight, and it worked on me. <laughs> fuck, I ain't never ever ever had to fucking do that shit like that. But yeah, no. Well, okay. Yeah. No, not scared straight. All these people volunteer. Oh my god. Like it'd be it, like it'd be fucked up shit sometimes. Like there was one time that one of the one of the plants actually went actually had to do prison time because he like obstructed so like only a select few people in the whole program know who the plant know that this motherfucker's not really in prison in there. Mm. It's like it's like the warden and the he- and the head of the guards. The other guards don't know this motherfucker's a plant. The fucking inmates, if they figure out that you a plant, they take your ass out of there. Like you are a fucking liability at that point. There's one guy, yeah. So that one guy that actually had to do time because he like fucking put a towel on a camera or some shit. <laughs> um, Wait, why did he put a towel on the camera? I don't yeah. know. The motherfucker wanted some privacy or some shit. And they was like, uh, you can't do that shit. You gotta do some time for that. Like that is a federal offense because they was in federal jail. Um, there was one girl who actually fucked up and like fell in love in jail. And then told the other the other lady inmate that she was on a show. Jesus Christ. And ain't got her ass beat. It was a month. No, they got her. They got her ass about there. It was one guy that had like moved up in the ranks. It was one girl that was like on there and started promoting her OF. It was a lot of shit. A lot of these fucking this are fucking weird, man. And but but you gotta be weird to volunteer to go to prison. <laughs> so like I don't know. How much? What's different. the incentive for them to do this? Yeah. If they make it through, they get like twenty five hundred dollars. That ain't enough. What? It ain't. Yeah, that ain't saying. enough for two months in prison. Hell Hold no. on. Let me uh, let me actually look it up. I'm uh, like, it's like, yeah, like it made sense when you first started. It was like, oh, they just filming like cops who do this shit all the time. Okay, cool. I kind of get it. That might compromise them. They're like they're, they're covered, but I get it. Good makes for good television. But to like just send normal people into jail, that's just asking for some shit to go down. The- Jail changes you like the fucking military. You don't come back the same. Sixty days in. At most, they are getting paid three thousand per episode. Basically, how long they last? That ain't fucking worth it. So basically, as the most recent season of the show, season six had eighteen episodes. This represents a potential payout of around fifty-two thousand for the show. Mm. But again, it's only as long as you make it. And then if you do something to fuck up and jeopardize a thing, I don't think you get shit. You know, <laughs> How long y'all think least... EDP gonna last in jail, though? If he does get locked um, up. Just based on the fact that uh, one of the videos I saw him, he like pulled his pants down and was like clapping his cheeks. 
so. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I mean like survive. He get his cheeks clapped. He might, he might get some survival on being somebody bitch. I mean, like, <laughs> we ain't talking about oh, yeah, the entire yeah, yeah. booty hole walls. Okay. We talking about just survival. I oh, mean, if he's yeah, selling booty cheeks to make it, yeah, not dying. Oh, I mean okay. that's one of the best ways to say protected. Honestly, yeah, I don't get that booty think, up. I don't think he's famous enough. Or anybody to like in there to fuck with him, maybe unless uh, unless they got... oh. no, they don't fuck with him because he is a pedophile. No. No, yeah, oh, he yeah. a pedo. Yeah. You know they don't yeah. last long in jail. Yeah. That's what I'm the only way he gonna make is if another pedophile clapped them cheeks and like right, I'm gonna keep you around because your booty hole nice and loose. Like that's all he got. Or <laughs> it's funny. Hunter you got some Arden. nice titties, my guy. <laughs> Would you Hunter say Arden go to fucking solitary? That's my plan. <laughs> so the guards can whoop his ass. <laughs> Yeah, when you said last in prison, I totally forgot about that. I'm like, yeah, I, about, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, no, no he wouldn't. Because honestly, yeah. people who do that shit, like the guards, they'll, they'll like make it known to other inmates. Yeah. And what sucks is uh, I, I watch a lot of prison content. I don't know, just the social stuff that goes on in there, I find it interesting. Because you but, see humans in their most primal state. Yeah. And then some of the motherfuckers do. Get to but, go on YouTube and know who the fuck he is. Mm-hmm. Niggas um, got phones in jail. But what sucks is like if you're like roomies with a pedo, it's like you e- you either have to kill him or like you get gotta, killed. It's, 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 gotta it's, be it's, his it's ass the hardest, <laughs> or they gonna lump you in with him. Yeah, you got to stomp him extra hard. <laughs> So you go, of course you know like oh that's bullshit but like bro, tomorrow's yeah, story yeah. don't go to jail. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you go to jail, go for something that ain't gonna get you killed. <laughs> Shit, at the minimum. Shout out to all the people getting their records expunged for weed charges. That's what's up. Um. Yeah, that's why EDP was just one of them stories that kind of hit. Where it's like, yo. You, like you technically had everything. Like the only thing you didn't have was like a good body and dude. That's your fault. <laughs> there, there was a time where he was rapidly losing weight. I actually learned about who he was through me following uh, Wings of Redemption, mm-hmm. and there was a time where he was trying to give Wings advice on like how to lose weight and help him. And like Wings denied it, so like he made a diss video like calling Wings a, a, a bitch, basically, mm-hmm. and. Uh, yeah, he, he he stopped doing that, and look where he is now. It's actually yeah. funny. I saw a video of Wings uh, so responding wild. to the situation. He's like, oh, well, I guess I know what EDP stands for, Internet Prison. <laughs> I was oh. like, wow, if Wings is fucking putting you down, you know you down bad. Yeah. I just found out what the fuck his name stands for. Today. Yeah, Eat That Pussy. Yeah, Eat That Pussy, 445. That shit wild as fuck. That's wild as fuck. He should have changed the wild motherfuckers. He gonna have to change it to EDB when he go to prison. That was kind of funny. That was actually kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, that, one, know, that, got, that got a lot. That got a lot darker than I uh, than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, because it's like he, he was a he was a public figure, and it's just like, yo, why? And the thing that makes it as dark is it's, it's not so much him going to meet up whatever creeps exist. It's the chat logs. Because if you pay, if you listen to the chat logs, this was a deeply disturbed, mentally no, not mentally, emotionally underdeveloped thirty year old man. He said, and I quote, "I want to fuck your innocence away." <laughs> wait, wait, what? He said, yeah, he what? said that shit. I ain't see that one. That that's the best one. That fucking meetup ain't shit. Yeah, the, he, the chat logs is like where the real meet at. It's like this. The amount of times he's talking about his shit to this this little girl is just like, all right, this is weird. Be it's already weird, but now you just x factor on this shit. <laughs> But like just from like the beginning or whatever, and just the way he's like talking to this girl and grooming her, you could tell he's done it before. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's very apt at talking to little kids and bumping them up. It's just like mm-hmm. like he 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 definitely the type of he definitely one of those uh hey where my hug at type of type oh, of dudes. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh man. We all know some of those. I worth that. <laughs> But that was <laughs> you could have kept that in your pocket. We we was thinking it. You ain't have to say it, dog. Okay, I, mean, I, know. I got out of it. <laughs> I know. I was thinking. I just was gonna let you That's let you hold you, it. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I'm, that shit was good, man. Like, man, let's not even get into it. Just, just take the L. We all got. We all gotta go sometime. <laughs> More of the story. Stop touching kids. Why are y'all just, touching kids? Ah. Talk to women your own age. Yeah, talk to some dumb I mean, eighteen year old. Fuck. Talk to some twenty underdeveloped twenty five year old. Like shit, they out here. <laughs> talk to some twenty year old whose dreams have already been shattered. Damn. <laughs> A broken husk. Damn. Yeah, yeah I don't up. even like. like go ahead, no, Clay was saying something. Uh, just based off the chat logs and like how terrible his conversation skills is, I don't think he can. Yeah, that's a like, fact. Like, oh my god, like he. No grown like, woman was gonna put up with that kind of conversation. How you doing? Oh, nothing. I ain't doing nothing. Like, just ugh. Mm. <laughs> the only time he, it, uh, I, a lot of people point this out from the chat log video. The only time he really had like interesting conversations when he was talking about taking a shit. And that's yeah. fucked up. And guns. And guns. And it's like, yo, she's 13. What the fuck does she gonna know about a gun? Shooting and shit. <laughs> oh, shooting and shit. I get it now. Yeah, different. That was clever. <laughs> you shit your shot, man. Oh, yeah. God. God. But, um, I... I don't... I, don't, I, I really don't know where... where there I'm really gonna, isn't much... To like go from this is just like I, it's fucked yeah. up. Yeah, I feel like we can save this for the last thing because fuck, that's actually pretty, this is pretty fucking heavy. Um, but it does lead me to think: what are you guys' favorite law cows and why? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I don't really know if I fucked with anybody. You mean like rage? Like niggas just yell? No, like motherfuckers who like. They'll, either at some point you respected them, or like the 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 involvement of their content has made them into like a parody of what they once were, and like now you kind of watch them out of like a, um, like a nostalgic sadness in a way, where it's just like ah, uh, or you get some enjoyment out of watching them continually fail because of their own vices and negative personality traits that they refuse to overcome. Yes, yeah, mess up the laugh at somebody's shortcomings and failings, but. When they keep choosing to do the same thing over and over and it don't work, like at some point it's like, well, let's just watch this train wreck. I I don't think I have anybody like that. Like I like the only person I could think of is I don't really watch dashy videos anymore. But that mm-hmm. wasn't because of no like fucked up shit with him. I just wasn't a fan of how the content evolved. Like, mm-hmm. like to me, I don't I don't know. It just changed yeah. after a certain point. I think for me, it would have been someone like low tier God, but I mean, technically, it worked for low tier God though. He actually does feed off of that shit. So yeah, it's like he, no he's like point. a wrestling heel. That's his thing. Yeah, yeah. He he real like it's. I'll admit that the way he did it spoke to me personally and made me angry, and I didn't see it for him being a heel at the time. And then as it, and then after like he got like ten thousand subscribers, I was like, oh okay, all right, I get it now. He is, mm-hmm. he's just, he's just playing up the heel. He's being Ric Flair, and he's, he's pretty fucking good at it. Mm-hmm. It's fuck, it, it's downright amazing. But like at the beginning though, it was amazing to see this man fucking rage as shit and talk mad shit about how he's the greatest at Street Fighter Four, and then and you watch him get his ass beat. Uh, that was the good stuff back in the day. And I think the only person I really have compared to is like I guess Wings of Redemption, but I only know Wings by and part of like the Painkiller Already podcast with like, you know, Kyle and Woody and Woody. FPS Rush and all them shit and stuff. Bro, I could I could give you guys an entire fucking synopsis of Wings lore. I thought like, I, 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 know, I, know, I was gonna let you I wanted it you to is. go last because I know you knew you was gonna go win. It is. Like, yeah. It so, is my favorite anime. <laughs> so here, I, I'll go because mine's just kind of short and sweet and it will let you get into yours. Um uh, mine's would be Doug Walker from uh Channel Awesome. 
Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, he, I, know, he, I, I know that. Yeah, they the do. Yeah, Wait, uh, uh, critic. Yeah, uh, the standard yeah, critic. Okay. Yeah, the standard critic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I he was my introduction to like watching review shows, but like after watching a while and expanding out to other content creators, you kind of realize how like let's just say shallow his views and taste can be. And vapid, yeah, that's a good, that's the word, that's the word, vapid, his taste can be. And then when you learn about the background of Channel Awesome and like how they used to treat the people who used to work with them and how like in the early days of YouTube, they took advantage of people. And then you watch his movies and you just realize how untalented he actually is. It's, it's a little sad. And granted, his taste, sometimes watching his videos, I kind of like a nostalgic ha ha because I just like the, the lol, so random humor at times. And it's good to get like a simple synopsis of a movie. But other than that, it's just like, He's he's um as a, a recent video I watched covering his channel, he's comfortably stupid at this point in his career, and I think he's okay with it, even if he's not a not not so much aware of it. That uh that wall video, the review of the wall, Pink Floyd's The Wall, was really uh yeah. that was something else. It, it was something. Oh, or any of his movies, any of his movies, or the way he tries to take the character of the nostalgia critic and then make it into like this meta narrative of the review shows and of how he views himself as a content creator. It's like it's interesting, but you know, you can only rise to the height of your own incompetence. And like it's only can go so far because he can't make a movie that adequately covers that. Mm-hmm. Like the dude then quit and, and came back from playing that character more times than the fucking Undertaker and retired and came back. I've always, like, I only learned about him because uh, I'm a huge, I've always been a long-time fan of Angry Video Game Nerd, and I've always just, I don't know, he's, like, one of the people I feel like never, he never got corrupted or, like, fallen into the bullshit of just, yeah. like, you know, being popular. Like, he's always, like, he, he's always just done him. Like, he's never, yeah. like, no one can, like, accuracy, like, man, Jerry Roth is, you know, like, he's just. He's just a genuine guy. Like you can't hate him. Yeah, James Even has moved comfortably. James has moved comfortably into doing angry video game nerdship. To I'm your I'm your dad's friend who talks about old horror movies now. Yeah, and we're, we're super chill about it. And yeah. I'm like, this is nice. This is nice. This is very King of the Hill, King of the Hill chill, and I like it. I never knew there was a connection between the two. Yeah, he's had him in a bunch. He's been in almost all of his movies. Movies. Yeah, the Scouts of Critic has like three movies. They aren't oh, good. Oh, I didn't know Feature that. films. Feature films. Long, <laughs> and oh, they're nine not nine great. YouTube. Yeah. 16 by 9 ratio. Yeah, the only thing I know about him is um he he did a... I, I forgot what year it was, but it was definitely over a decade ago. But he did a collab with James where he made him play a shitty game and then he made James watch a shitty movie. So he, James made him play Baby's Kids for uh, Indiana, <laughs> and he made James watch Ricky One, which is a terrible, like, scary movie parody of Rocky. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, Baby's oh, Kids oh. had a video game. Yeah, wait, what? <laughs> the movie, the movie, the movie Baby's movie. Baby. Yeah, I love that movie. How have I never known that? Oh, oh no! Oh, what? <laughs> it's not a bad. It's not a bad movie. It's just a classic. It's just no. I the like, movie's I like... great. I'm just told of it. Like, yeah. he had a video game. But mm-hmm. I do like bad this, movies. This is like, like finding out Michael Jackson had a video game called Moonwalker. That's hold up. Don't say you like bad movies because I got a whole list waiting to unleash on you guys. So like, don't, I like don't Pootie Tang. I really fuck with Pootie Tang. Pootie Tang is a bad movie. How dare you? <laughs> what you talking about? Pootie Tang is great. What the fuck is you going on about? Like, like, Pootie Tang like, don't need words. He don't need music. I love Ratatai Pootie on the Danny, my mammy. Like, what? Hey, hey, I love Pootie Tang. <laughs> Talking about it's a bad movie. What's wrong with you? It ain't good. <laughs> but I love it. Uh, you gave that girl I, milk. I, 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 still, I still think about the scene where like he's like he's like doing the music and he's not saying anything, and you have that Asian kid just like just like having just a ball. Going nuts. <laughs> and the best part is how like fast he stopped when his dad opened the door like he already knew <laughs> you of hawking you on his ass also I don't know if we said it last time uh, I don't okay. <laughs> nah. but um 
Speaking of bad right, so uh, uh, when we doing our live movie. stream of hold up, so what what is this when we doing our live stream of double down? Double down. Double down. double down. Yeah, we gotta experience Neil Breen's brainness. Oh my god, that, that double down. Jesus Yes, Christ, that, that double down. down. Or faithful findings. I'm down with both. Oh, let's not do it. Yes, do, yes, we need to do it. We watch bad movies. I don't know either oh, of those. Or Sam, okay, Samurai Cop. I'll meet you halfway. I don't know what the fuck that All is. Right. I can deal with so, Samurai I got, Cop. I got a list of bad movies that we can watch. All right, so I got a list. Was definitely a, down for Samurai Cop, yeah. There was one bad movie I remember. I is it The Room? It. Oh. Is it The Room? No. I, I don't think you've seen The Room. I have seen The Room, but it's not, that's not what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, it was called I forgot what it was called, but it was a shark movie. And Sharknado? No, it wasn't Sharknado. Out of it Deep was... Blue No, not Deep Blue Sea. Hold on. Deep Island Impact. Oh, it was I called know. House Shark. Yeah, movie. House Shark. What the fuck? Yeah. So it was a story, it was a movie about a motherfucker with a shark under his house. That's the best. <laughs> And then he he had a son. He went to work. He left the son with the babysitter. The babysitter sat on the toilet and got fucking eaten by the by the shark. The shark came out the toilet and ate her. Like, clip, that. Yes, clip that. Clip like, that. What? <laughs> like basically, I, I, I got you. <laughs> like, and that shit was the fucking blow. It was a terrible movie. It was so stupid. But that shit just that shit. I can never forget about that shit. Like, how the fuck did the shark come up through the toilet? A grown ass shark. <laughs> that is fucking wild. Jeez. And that brings us to the, the expert on the biggest law, Cal. Play. Wings of Redemption. What do you love about him and why? Play, I was going to talk I, about I, the, bad, the bad movie where, you, where there was that water. Really. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. Go about wings of redemption. If you if you ask me about this, I could I could man I I could do at least that's, that's, the, that's the point. Rule of three and tell us why you like wings of wings of redemption as a law cow and give us three solid examples that'll make us laugh and giggle. Okay, no. so the reason I can't I can't I just I'm so fascinated with this man is just I I've never seen anyone be given like so many opportunities for success and just <laughs> deliberately refuse to succeed. It's fucking crazy. It, like it, it's surreal. And just like, as time goes on, it's like, you want to say like, man, he could turn this around, but he just keeps <laughs> digging deeper and deeper. And, and like, you know, like you realize you're in a hole. The first thing you do is you stop digging, but this motherfucker keep buying more shovels. It's crazy. Like he just, I'm like, oh boy. Like, <laughs> I, I, I guess I give you some examples, but um, so I, I'll give you some background on Wings of Redemption. So, pretty much, uh, Wings is real names Jordy Jordan or Richard, but I'll get into that later. But um, so he was a OG Call of Duty streamer on YouTube back when like YouTube was like first becoming a thing, and so back then like Call of Duty was kind of like in its prime, like everybody played Call of Duty, and so people would look up you know Call of Duty videos how to get like kill streaks and shit, and he was like one of the Godfathers. Uh, for making content like that so he mm -hmm. had he got in lots of viewers subscribers he was very well known on youtube and so where the downfall happened was uh at the time there was another youtuber who was known for streaming uh zombies content so call of duty zombies if those of you guys who don't know what that is it's basically a sub mode in call of duty that's pretty popular where basically you and your friends are trying to survive a horde of zombies as long as you can but, As you do, yeah. yeah. So anyway, he uh, he got into an argument with this dude, and so they agreed to do a one v one on a uh, <laughs> on a match. Basically, he was talking shit, saying like, "Man, zombies is easy. I could do zombies," and basically just discrediting the guy's skill. And so he's like, "All right, I'll challenge you to a one v one." So this guy gets so yeah, Jordy Jordan. He gets bodied by this dude, and that kind of just starts to downfall. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, then uh, then his buddy Woody streaming and shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, Woody streaming that shit. <laughs> 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 
but it, anyway, uh, so aside from that, so Wings is a very big guy. He's he's. Wait, he's but you didn't you didn't tell him oh, how Jordy oh. uh Jordy tried to uh. It's so uh, much, bro. But okay. He didn't try to. He you forgot to tell him how he tried to like uh. What's the thing? Try to pay the other guy to say, "Hey, oh. <laughs> because I'm a streamer, uh, let okay. me pay you this money to lose to me, so that way you can Man. get some publicity too." So okay, so do y'all want like everything or like? Yeah, the, break it down. Char- I okay. <laughs> just, all right. Okay. Okay. So all right. So yeah, he 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 plays against the syndicate guy and he loses. Now uh, his friend Woody's gamer tag. Uh, he's he's streaming the whole thing, so like lots of people are watching this go down because he's like, oh man, this is the two best uh, Call of Duty players. They're going at it. Like every, you know, people are jumping on this shit, and so he loses. And Wings is a very sore fucking loser. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he uh, he he starts like raging, cussing out his best friend, tells him to end the stream, and basically the way he takes it is like his career is over because he lost in a video game. Now he definitely overreacted. You know, you, it's okay to lose. You just gotta take that shit on the chin and like, you know, just move on. But Wiggs treated it like it was the end of the fucking world. And so uh what Dar- <laughs> what uh Big Black Nope Noir was referring to was um so Wings was considering doing a rematch with Syndicate to, you know, save face, except he was saying, like, yo, you gotta let me win. And basically he was bribing him. But what's funny is when you bribe someone, you like or like, you know, you pot split or collude with someone for like winnings. If you're trying to make that deal, you either go even or you give them more to convince them. This motherfucker offered 30% <laughs> to syndicate. And he also wanted syndicate to throw the game. So he can look at it. So of course Syndicate says no. <laughs> like, what kind of deal is that? You want me to lose and you get all the money? Like what what the fuck? Uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um anyway, so that, that kind of starts this whole downward spiral with wings. And so uh wings kind of enters the territory of uh streaming. And so oh, uh back on back on the uh the, the weight. So wings is a very heavy set guy. Um, he's been wanting that to. Might be an understatement. He, he he's he's morbidly obese. He, he him him big, but yeah. um. So around the time this was happening, I I can't remember the exact year, but um, he was uh wanting to lose weight. So he he was part of this uh podcast called Painkiller Already PKA, um, and it was him. This guy named Woody's Gamer Tag and FPS Russia or Kyle, if that's what you want to call him. But basically, uh, he was wanting to lose weight, and so Woody and so uh, FPS Russia Kyle, he agrees to let Wings stay with him in his house. So he's gonna help him lose weight. He's gonna he's gonna like run like a makeshift training camp for him. He even renovated his fucking bathtub just so yep. Wings could fucking fit in it. Out of his own yeah. pocket, he renovated his own, like with his own fucking money. He accommodated his friend to help him better himself. But uh, you know, Wings, he he was making progress, and then he hit a plateau, and then he's just all oh, fucking. I'm a failure. I'm not. I'm not, not going to do this. And so, yeah, that 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 fails. Uh, he he gains all the weight back, and then um, another attempt he had is uh, you know, he was crying on stream for a moment, like asking like. Man, I, I really need this like surgery. He was trying to get surgery to get his stomach stapled, so you know to like, you know, eat less and you know lose weight. But what Wings didn't know is when you do that, you have to, you have to show you know the doctors or whatever that you're committed and you're gonna make a lifestyle change. So they'll be like, oh, you got to lose this much uh, weight to qualify for the surgery. So um, yeah, they do that in uh, my six hundred pound life. Uh, if you guys are familiar with that show. But um, so yeah. Anyway, he tries to get in America, and he doesn't meet the uh, requirement because he's too lazy to you know lose the weight. So he decides to get the surgery done in Mexico. Now, Viva Mexico! Yeah. <laughs> now, this is the thing. He didn't have money for the surgery, so he asked his uh, viewers to donate, basically saying like, 
you know, like, can you guys like help me? You know, I'm trying to like make this life changing thing. Like, you know, like, please help me. And so he has all these people rooting for him and stuff. And basically he gets the surgery fully funded. I think he got uh, $13,000 in total in donations for him to like get this life changing surgery, get his life together. So mm-hmm. he, he goes down to Mexico, gets his stomach stapled. You know, he gets the gastric bypass, comes back. A year later, he gains all the weight back. Now, mind you, uh, gastric bypass, they, typically he said the, uh, success is 90%. So he beat the fucking surgery. Like that, that takes some hard work. You got you got your stomach <laughs> cut out. And then you expanded it right back to what the fuck it was. But um, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> But uh, on to my favorite uh, saga is uh, so, so you guys know anime. how every superhero, yeah, <laughs> yeah, every superhero has like their rogues gallery, like you know, their gang of villains, like you know, like <laughs> Spider Man yeah. got like Green Goblin, Dr. Octopus, and just you know, Batman, and basically, like, about next. yeah, <laughs> so you know, when it comes to like Batman, his arch nemesis is the Joker. So with wigs, <laughs> his arch nemesis is this YouTuber by the name of Sean Ranklin. Now Sean Ranklin does not have a face, or or like like no one knows anything about Sean Ranklin except that he has a Pepe frog emoji as his username. But basically, this man is like the the kind of like the bane and cause of uh, Wings existence. So he started like recording streams of like wings doing embarrassing shit and like uploading it on YouTube. What's up? That was making it funny. Oh, that's fine. But yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to stop me. But um, <laughs> oh, I said you said he was the cause of his existence. I was like, he's a dad. Well, I, oh, oh no, I, it, it gets deeper. It gets, it gets deeper. It, it, Yo, if, yeah. if this story ends with him fucking his mom, so like, like, like that's a different level of hate. For you to go fuck your no, no 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 it is it's it's more refined than that. So <laughs> so uh the Sean Ranklin person he's he's getting very popular by you know uploading all these vid- videos of wings and you know of him like raging and stuff. There's actually a video called Wings of Redemp Wings of Redemption loses it. It's got like two million views. You guys yeah. should if for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, check that out and yeah. I apologize if you end up going down this journey as I did. But uh, anyway, so since Wings became like a low cow due to his notoriety gain through Sean Ranklin, people were known to, for like fucking with him in his like in his Twitch chats and stuff just constantly over and over again, like picking at him, trying to get him to like break down and cry on stream and stuff like that. And so now it's gotten to the point where pretty much wings he his donations that he gets are all from like he his trolls so the only reason they fund him is because they want to see him fail but if wings leaves then the trolls don't get any content so it's a symbiotic cancerous fucking relationship that sound like the two <laughs> that sound like the two community on twitch <laughs> it's basically, quite it's quite it's quite depressing basically but so sean ranklin is kind of like the head of all this which you know earlier i said shout out sean ranklin that's become a meme basically people when they fuck with him in like their chat and he's you know like gaming playing rainbow six and they team kill him all the time you know they'll say shout out sean ranklin and like I feel like sean ranklin has kind of transcended humanity at this point like he's he's not a person I think we're all Sean Ranklin at this point. <laughs> like dead ass, dead ass on Reddit. I saw someone went to a fucking WWE match and held up a sign that oh says "Shout out Sean Ranklin." Yeah. If you look that up, it like it like the 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 amount of people who know about this is is more than you. It's less than you know, but more than you think. It, it's fucking it's fucking absurd. That's actual. Uh, I am John Malkovich. I mean, Sean Ranklin. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say real quick, though, like, I don't want anybody to take this as, like, kicking people who are down with any of the law cows are mentioning. It's more so the fascination with following Whoa. their story, because Hold once on. you get, like, this public persona online, 
your story is is everyone's. It's no longer your story. People are going to follow it and take it for whatever face value that you tend to give it. It's sad in a way, but I mean, hey, oh, look, he getting paid for it. He could stop at any time. He can log off and go get a nice office job. Yeah, yeah, like, and like, <laughs> like it's always there. But it's no, just, that's the thing. Wings can't get an office job. He says, "I ain't got no, I ain't got no high school diploma. I don't got no GED. I got IQ. no skills. My wife, my girlfriend left me. And if I stop doing streaming, the trolls are gonna leave me. And I can't play anything else but Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And I'm tired of this fucking game. But if I don't play that, nobody's gonna look at me. It really is oh, kind of a, depressing. Oh, that's a yeah. big thing on Twitch." Like it's a big, like when you first decide to start streaming, you gotta decide if you're gonna be a a one game streamer or if you're gonna do variety. Both got their pros and cons. Man, I uh, the thing is, it comes down to your capacity to have an actual personality, and I feel like that's where Wings kind of failed in off jump. He was there because of his skill at one game, and then he got showed up by somebody who was better, and that broke him. That's that's what I got yeah, from him. Yeah, yeah, he had yeah. nothing else to fall back on. Yeah, if you there's a video called "Down the Rabbit Hole: Wings of Redemption" that has like four million views, I think. Yeah, but I, it, I love it, the it, Down the Rabbit Hole channel. Great, yeah. great channel. Shout out to Fred, uh, Frederick Nunsick. Good guy. Yeah, good guy. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Uh, it's funny because this was like a childhood trait of his. He he was like an athletic kid or whatever, and then he like transferred yeah. <laughs> to a new school, and so it like was faster than him, and then he like started gaining weight. <laughs> and like yeah, this is some deep seated problem of his. Of feeling my got a, my got a fear of competition. Oh, my. The, the, yeah. That man encountered the man encountered his first rival in his tournament arc, and he was like, "Fuck it, I'm out." And I now, was, I, I'd be fascinated by watching an anime like that. Like, okay, what if the protagonist just made all the wrong decisions? Like, go without the whole sand blood to keep him competent. You know, that's basically what there it is. is. It's called Welcome to the NHK. Fair. Um, I don't want to talk too much more about it, but just I want to share like some key, hilarious, shocking moments that I've seen in the wigs lore. <laughs> but so. Um, as you know, people like to fuck with him in his chats and stuff, you know, pretty much like, you know, giving donations to get a rise out of him. Now, one of my favorite things that I saw someone do is so he was playing uh, Rainbow Six on PS4. And so this guy, one of his friends he uh, that he plays with, he blocked him for some petty ass reason, because basically he's one of those people who gets mad at all his teammates and it's never his fault. And Shout out League of Legends. Yeah, <laughs> but, it, but it's so much worse. It's so much worse. Could you imagine Wings playing League? Like, what oh, if he ever decides to make that show? Oh, no. oh, oh God. He, he bans people who tell him to play League. Oh, <laughs> That's the smartest thing I've heard him do. Yeah, like, he, that he, is he, the most intelligent thing ever. And, and fighting games, because he's like, oh, man, fighting games make me mad. And I know why. It's because he ain't got no one else to blame but himself. Yep. <laughs> But, um, oh, so anyway, gives him an excuse. Go ahead. Right. Uh, okay. So he he basically he had a friend that he played uh, Rainbow Six with for for a while, and he kind of wronged him. So during one of his streams, he kept messaging him like shit you can't say on you know Twitch like the N word, the F word, and so uh, Wiggs he's getting these messages, and you know on PS4 you gotta like hit the menu. And then, like, go to your notifications and, like, to block someone, you got to, like, click their username and stuff. So he does that. And so on, P- the, on PS4, you have a profile. And so for your profile, you can have, like, a little avatar and also, like, a background picture. So the guy who was messaging him when, as he goes to block him, his background picture is this big-ass BBC and <laughs> and just in 4K, it just and there oh, was like fuck four, fuck. there was like three thousand people watching on Twitch, and just he he just ended up showing a big ass black dick like straight <laughs> on Twitch, and he just starts freaking the fuck out. Oh my lord! Yeah, oh my lord! Yeah. Like I was like, yo, that was that was he like he checked oh, him. That was clever as fuck. I am fucking <laughs> got him. <laughs> he got him at 445K. Yeah. Shout out to Spot'em, we got him. That's crazy. <laughs> but, 
got him. <laughs> but just like these people, like they do a like I'm. They do the fucking most from the sound of it. They they yeah. really do. And you can only do stuff if you keep reacting to it, and that just that's true. falls for it every time. He, he, he's he's very... never gonna get it. You forgot. Uh, you forgot to tell him about the hiking. Uh, hiking trip fiasco. Oh. <laughs> he also didn't tell the story about how um wings <laughs> blew out his friend's toilet and walked and like took a piss while his girlfriend was there with the door open. <laughs> Oh, yeah. it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Yeah, it's, it's like so it's like much, we bro. it's like we both don't know the whole the whole wings or uh, lore, but we know like these big check marks, and we're like, I, bro, you got you got to tell him about the hiking I, trip and how he blew up his friend's toilet. I know so much. Like I feel like I could make a fucking two hour documentary on it if you gave me the time. Probably should, <laughs> but, but like I don't. I just man. I volunteer as editor. <laughs> there can be backup editor. Like, like I'm I, I, I volunteer that we all we all uh by this time of October come up with a one hour lecture of a thing of a topic of our choice. And we honestly by it. October we could probably do several video essays on several things. Like I would love to do something about we animate with Garland and you, but mostly Garland just to frustrate them with certain shit. Like One Piece is gonna be hilarious if we ever tackle that beast. Yeah. Oh, I'm Hour down for a lecture. One Piece video. Are I'm you? Gonna... Are you? Because you didn't like when I gave you my little mini rant on One Piece. You get you didn't like it too well. <laughs> yeah, but I also respect your opinion. Like I, I'm not the type that oh, I, I don't even think the shit is. The shit I like is the greatest shit ever. It's just the greatest shit to me. I don't really give a fuck. I I, mean, I be hyped with other people share my opinion, but if they don't, I right. yeah, fuck all that. The shit I watch is the greatest thing ever. Fuck that. <laughs> That's antithetical to me because I'm the kind of guy like I love. It's not like I love arguing. I just love the the clashing of ideas and ideals. That that shit gets just that's crack to me. It gets you. I bad. think. Hard. <laughs> nice and creamy. Uh, <laughs> the macaroni in the pot. Uh. <laughs> but it's just something about the clashing of ideals and like, I think you're wrong. You think I'm wrong. Let's argue about it until we blew in the face. But like, hopefully, we come to an understanding. I, I hate that agree to disagree bullshit. That's cowards. That's cowardly in my opinion. <laughs> but. Wings of Redemption, such a fascinating person that the thing is, even with his name, his redemption arc, if it ever occurs, is going to be amazing. I don't think it will. Right now we're in the we're in the wife saga. And yeah, she, that's the wife saga. saga. Like, like, yeah. The wife arc about the like his arc. wife and his truck left. He, like he they took they took his truck or something like that. No, something no, no. Happened. No, and they ain't walking nowhere. How you gonna get around? Like, what? he recently got <laughs> married to someone who's like a healthcare worker, and like he dead ass said on stream that he's doing it for insurance reasons. Wow! <laughs> and, and people and the trolls like went out of their way to like, like, yo, he he playing you, and she like, I understand, but I still have feelings for him. Oh, and now recently, the most. <laughs> The biggest you know, why do douchebags get the, why do douchebags get the most understanding women? <laughs> they they both fucking miserable. It's because you want a real answer. It's because douchebags are self actualized at the very least, and they douchebaggery and women latch on to that. Like, let's be real. I mean, honestly, they both fucking like yeah. They they're 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 made for each other. <laughs> like, oh man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're at the point he like made her cry on stream or whatever. She was like, I, I think it was the case, from my understanding, he like agreed to go to some like family event with her and then he he said he wasn't going to do it anymore at the last second to stream, even though he made no fucking donations. And so she's like, please, can we talk about this? And he just continues to stream and then she's like crying in the background and he's just laughing. And wow. and now recently, it's, she's been like DMing one of his mods, and it, 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 it's bad. It's bad, bro. Uh, and it probably was also. Wow. I just don't understand him. Can you help me understand? And she he, she don't understand at the end of a uh, SP. Like uh, she said, not cool. That's a big payback. I want to make sure I got my plan B ready. Oh, <laughs> your mod, boy. Yeah, you thought that was your man's in them, no. And you know what I think with the mind messaging her? I think he's just trying to cause trouble just for the fuck of it. 
I mean, probably. Shout out Sean Ricklin. <laughs> it's, it's funny because, like, Sean no. Ricklin doesn't even upload anymore. But like I said, he's transcendent. But no, yo. He's, I think he's a religion at this point. Your mod is different. <laughs> like, that's fucked up. So. That, that, that is the internet up. equivalent of, like, fucking one of your homies. <laughs> like... Not even one of your homies. I employ this motherfucker. Technically, like so, there are some streamers that really he, go above he, and beyond. He, 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 not. he, he, he can barely pay himself, himself, dog. Yeah, they literally yeah. volunteer just so they yeah. can uh, yeah. get dirt and like make good with him then fuck him over at the last second. It's that bad. Like if I could, like if I had it back when I was streaming consistently, I would definitely do some shit for my mom. <laughs> if, yeah. It's, I feel like it's really noble if they're good mods and and like you are within your means to do something. You don't got to, to do something nice for. You don't got to backstory on wings though, and how he treats his mods, and let alone his fucking viewers. And I doubt them. And as we've heard, I doubt he treats his friends very well either. It's, you don't have any more friends. Yeah, it's it's, it's funny. Like his like, longest his longest friend was Woody, and Woody mm-hmm. tried his best. Woody tried his best for so long. He's like, I just can't do it anymore. And then Wings was like, you know, fuck you, man. You're a fucking bitch for leaving yeah. me like this. And Woody's like, the fuck? Um, <laughs> I tried. So what I... And... Oh, go, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. no I, was, I was done. I was done. Uh, uh, from what I remember, his final, Woody's final straw with Wings was um, there was some guy who was like threatening Woody's wife and uh, child. Like saying he was gonna like rape oh, them. Oh yeah! And uh, um, like Wings was like, what? Uh, Woody like told Wings like, you know, like I don't like this guy. You know, he's 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 bad news. He's like threatening my family and stuff. And like apparently, like Wings was like in cahoots with him or something. And basically, Wings was like, oh, that don't got nothing to do with me. And he just continued like associated with the dude and like was sponsoring him for shit. And basically, that was Woody's final straw. Jeez. Man, like, what just this, this this dude man it's it's just it's unreal and the shit he does it's crazy yeah, i've never heard of youtubers having lore oh and, they do they do no, no no you gotta you gotta get more you follow a channel long enough you start hearing about the shit that's like the uh doug walker thing and channel awesome like it's yeah. a whole backstory to how he used to treat them go look at some of Lindsay ellis old videos and like we're t- talking about it and how like, he treated the people who used to do um videos and content like, any, it's a reason most YouTuber, of the people distance themselves but, any youtuber that's have that's been on the platform for 10 years or at least six years or longer has lore game grumps air get game grumps oh my god you know there's a five minute compilation of them just saying nigga the whole way through i i i was always under the assumption that that aaron or john like said it like once or twice and i'm like all right gamer moment but like a five it's a five <laughs> minute or either like eight minute compilation of john just going like it's like nigga nigga and i'm like whoa <laughs> i never yeah. and all the con all the comments are basically like yeah i never knew it was this much jesus christ what i mean fuck? i I never liked Game Grumps, and I'll explain why. Uh, I I used to see like those animations that they made, like you know, like the sequelitis and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was great. I, I saw they made, yeah, that, that was fine. Um, I saw they made like a Left for Dead animation, or Left for Dead Two specifically, where you know they got like Coach and Rochelle the black characters. But just uh, I was watching it, and you know they they just were just doing these like really like out there caricatures of the characters like having like coaching right. drinking the watermelon and big lips and shit and just like it made me uncomfortable and so yeah yeah <laughs> aaron aaron used to be way edgier than he is now he went from that to dream daddy and so, aaron used to be super fucking edgy and john jo- both of them used to be super fucking edgy but yeah my point is, I mean, is that they any- start on new grounds yeah yeah, like, that's yeah. just the, yeah. the king of his. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Thank you mentioned it. Yeah, but like every YouTuber that's been on this website for six years or more has lore. Game Grumps, Aaron, John Tron, Ray William Johnson, Wait, is what about Philip DeFranco. Game hmm. Is this what you know, game theory? Game theory with Matt Pat? Yeah, there's lore to Matt Pat. Absolutely. Aww. Especially with the suicide of his editor, shit that went down with uh with Comic Drake, 
uh, parts in his early parts of his career with uh, with game theory. Yeah, there's lore to, to MatPat. It's not egregious, but there's lore though. There, there's yeah. stuff there. If you follow a channel enough, it like you're gonna come across just their personal lives and the dirt that's happened in it. The good channels manage to keep that stuff out the public light, and the average ones it gets out and hopefully they handle it and move on. Like the best yeah. friends, just three idiots playing video games. They have fucking lore. It's ridiculous. They got a whole wiki page. Yeah, I really want. I, yeah, we're I gonna. Still, I feel like we're going to get that redemption where they all come back together. It's not gonna happen soon unless the what I think is gonna happen to Pat happens. But other than that, they're gonna have the re, uh, reunion. Yeah, I think Matt has mellowed out, and I don't care. I still like. I still like Liam. I don't care. I don't care. <sighs> <laughs> it's a rising superstar Liam. He's still the best. Oh Jesus Christ! But we all know so, the best one is Willie. It, it is Willie. Willie's the he's the, the shining gem to come out of that. Still got mad mm-hmm. love for Pat though. Agreed. Yeah. I didn't. But, but Matt is the runaway success though with the whole. Yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. He he clearly had a chip on his shoulder. Like I don't need y'all. And, uh, I yeah, think, right. I, I, <laughs> excuse me. I honestly don't think that was the case. I really think it's just uh, him and Pat. Just he got tired of Pat, and that's what made the separation with Willie. Because Willie was confused. He's like, "Yeah, dude, you knew who he was when you first recruited him. You've known this dude for years. Why would you think he would change?" And something was said that Pat probably said to Matt. And that was Matt's last straw, and they followed after Liam left because Pat probably said something to Liam. Yeah, Pat did say something to Liam. You know he, he said something. To this day, whenever when anyone brings it up in like Liam's chat, he like immediately just like he gets all twitchy and nervous and he just doesn't yeah. respond to it. Because nine times out of ten, if you know Pat, whatever he said was true and they just didn't want to hear it. I told y'all the story about how I got banned and I'm Dante Stringer. <laughs> no, you no. didn't. Not on the podcast. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, no, you didn't. I don't know about this. All right. So I really fucks with I'm Dante. Like I'm a big fan of the content, uh, and then after a while, after a couple of strikes, he started streaming on Twitch. Big fan, but he's you no, know, he's like got notoriety, so his chat moves fast. So I was like going in there because I fucked with the content, even though he was playing Fortnite, and I don't like Fortnite. I was still trying to support. He gets into a gunfight with this dude in Fortnite. And he was tight because he was building. He was like, oh, man, why well, you got to be a bitch and build and all this shit? I'm like, I don't even play this game, but I know that that's what the fuck happens when you get in a gunfight. What fuck is build and try to survive? It's like getting mad at somebody in Minecraft building tunnels. The fuck do you think I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> so, like, then he dropped I'm down. Getting mad at someone in a fighting game for blocking. Then the, then the op dropped I don't know down. I do that. Why would you uh, block? <laughs> how, can you, how can you hit someone if you're blocking? I'm confused, Derek. <laughs> so then I was like, I mean, I think that's how it works. And it sounded like he won that argument because he killed him. I'm like, mm-hmm. shit, it sounded like he won that argument. That motherfucker banned me because I was quote unquote talking shit. But he ain't seen none of the other mess, none of the other messages. I was like, yo, big fan, love the content. He ain't seen none of that shit. <laughs> one of my favorite lines from one of my favorite books, uh, The Invisible Man, is I was never more hated than when I was honest. <laughs> yeah. They hated him he spoke the truth. <laughs> that fucking meme. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'm still banning his shit. It just, it'd be like that. Nobody want to hear what you got to say, especially if you're a true speaker. And depending, on, and depending on how you say what you said, it can rub someone the wrong way. And that's the thing with the whole super best friends thing. Hopefully they get back together. I've been a long time fan. And I just hope none of them turn into law cows. I, I couldn't live with that. <laughs> they got me through some tough times. Agreed. Agreed. They might not be friends anymore, but they'll always be super. <laughs> <laughs> we should but, uh, do our own Friday night fisticuffs. Yo, I want to expand on all types of stuff for this channel. Like it's so much we could do because we got I think we're getting that repertoire down. But speaking yeah, of like, run, come and run up? these fades in Street Fighter. I swear, come and run these fades. <laughs> we, 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 we're trying to have a Street Fighter night. You know, if Garland stopped being a, a pippin' bag bitch, I might buy the uh, Power Rangers fighting game. I have it. 
Don't don't buy it. Get of course, hey Brandon, do you do you think he owns it? I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't have any evidence for that. <laughs> no evidence at all. But uh, what what we've been playing, guys? What games have you guys been getting into? I ain't been playing a bitch ass thing. I've been playing <laughs> you. I've been playing Yu Gi Oh. All right. What, what deck you been running? I've been running Evil Twins, and then I'm waiting for um. Well, I play on a couple different programs, so I've been using like the Despia shit. <clears throat> and I have a Metal Foes deck I want to try out. But my main squeeze right now, I think, is Evil Twin. Okay. okay. I'm shocked you haven't did like a like a um, live stream, just like ch- chilling in the Discord, just playing with the gang and whoever decides mm-hmm. to pop into the stream. I do. But with the added commentary, you know what I mean. Yeah, I have. Let me know. I might slide through and run that fade. Yeah, I was supposed to do it today, but their motherfuckers was busy. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to do that tournament you've been talking about. Yeah, you was talking about running the tournament. I could embarrass her, but... <laughs> yeah, Brandon will come cool. in with, it, with his, his, his meta deck, OP knowledge of the game and the economy, and I'm going to come in with some fuck shit. <laughs> yeah, I got to do <laughs> I'm coming here with fucking ancient warriors. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that, but no, I, you ain't played my new. You haven't really played my new. Uh, no, uh, knights of the round table bullshit. I didn't make <laughs> that shit. I, did play play it. I played it in a tag. That don't really count though. Yeah, yeah. I'm really enjoying the uh, the Despia shit just because all of the lore. Like, like a lot of my time recently, like this past week, has been spent. Watching Yu Gi Oh lore videos. Okay. Shout out to Golden Nova Yu Gi Oh. That's that's my that's my guy. Have to check that out. What you been playing, Clay? Uh, recently I've been playing a lot of Street Fighter Five since they added uh, one of my favorite characters from the series, Rose. So I've been getting my uh, cancerous setups pretty <laughs> tight with her. And, I was so uh, hyped that you was gonna say Dan Habiki, and then you said no. And I, mean, I am so it. upset he wasted a slap. No one asked what for help. What the fuck? No one asked for help. You, oh, wait, no wait, wait a minute. Help. What do you got against my man Dan? He's, He's a wasted hype. slap. No one plays him. I play Dan. The fuck it's, you talking the about? Dan said what he this. said. Nobody he said what he said. He's a drunk. He's a drunk character. I get it. The joke's not funny anymore. Wait, but, <laughs> Holy shit! But wait, me and D and Clay game, actually man. had a pretty good like series without with Nakali and Dan. That shit was pretty fun. I I played Nakali and he played Dan with the costume of his quotes. of his head. Yeah. <laughs> like, sure like, like, like Dan, someone who like it, 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 he's he's kind of like Jerry in a way, and like. Everyone's like, oh, cool, he's in. Or, you know, oh, they're in the game. Then nobody fucking play him. This is true. <laughs> Everybody loves Jury, but nobody actually plays Jury. Yep. <laughs> I love Jury. I don't even play Jury. Yeah, yeah. You do love Jury. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. He was a Jury main in Street Fighter 4. Yeah, it's just you got to work too hard to do what mm-hmm. other people could do much easier. I'm trying to figure out. I'm I'm still in the phase where I'm like cycling through characters, trying to see who I really fucks with. Last time we ran some some sets that, like I was I was enjoying Kareen, or Kareen, whatever the fuck. Kareen. Kareen. Yeah, and 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 uh, Ken is cool too. But yeah, I, I want you. Ed, Ed and Dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I will give you mad props for that because yeah, he's he's my secondary. <laughs> Nice. My best is uh, Falk, which I get a lot of hate for that. But everybody's always a man, you cheap. And then, like, at the same time, it's like, oh man, she's so bad. But yet, I watch people with her all the fucking time. (laughs) But uh, speaking of which, yeah, um, I was, Garland had a stream with some other buddy of his where he just we he just had a lobby up where like people were just joining i was pretty fun. i was uh, i don't know if you did that again i was streaming on my because i have a i'm part of a stream team for twitch shout out dojo Inc. and yeah 
we some like twice a month we have our uh stream days on the team channel and i was supposed to do a podcast but i couldn't find any guests so then i was just like fuck it uh my guy reezy champ who who did also did some of my alerts uh he challenged me to a first of 50 <laughs> and uh-huh. then that's it like yeah no we never do the fucking first video it's gonna take mad hours so then but i was like yo if you free we can open a lobby and just and just and just fight i play him in the first of 20. yeah that was fun i'm not doing no 50 though that's gonna take too fucking long Jeez. or maybe it won't (laughs) 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 go both ways all right d money what you playing don't call me D Money. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> I'm bringing up bad memories from the past. I know. They, I know. Don't, they, don't need, they don't need to know about my other life, okay? All right. <laughs> we, we need to keep it chill. We need to keep it chill. We need to keep it very legal. They don't need to know. That's why, about he, 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 that's why he big black black because they don't need to know about the green. They don't wow. need to know about the incident. All right. Let's just. just, just, just oh. Shut up. Speaking of incident. Anyway. Oh, oh uh, go ahead. No, you got way too high. Yeah, I was speaking of incidents. What? What happened? <laughs> last, last week, last week you brought up Justice League, and I wrote it down because I wanted to hear you talk about it. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. Oh, oh man, wow. sadly we're out of time. You know, we have been. <laughs> oh, now, I ain't talking about that video, man. But y'all ain't skipping me again. So finish your shit, Justice League. What? It could be a long one. <laughs> Hey, get your shit off, I man. honestly, I honestly feel, I honestly want to do it uh, at the. This at the, at the you really don't want to talk about this. So, <laughs> no, no, it's just that I, I want to, I want to save it. But long story short, I honestly do think the Whedon cut is better than the than the Zack Snyder cut for two simple reasons. One, Josh Whedon adds better characterization to everybody in the Justice League in the Whedon cut, and two. He cuts out all the unnecessary fat that Snyder actually put back in. Slice. And that's all I'm gonna that's all I'm gonna say about it for now. We we will we will get into it next week. I I'll I'll, I'll put a okay. pin in it. I'll write it down myself. I, I'm not and getting we, rid of this post it to you, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> next week are, are we also gonna tackle why you said one piece is bad? Because I need to fucking Who me? Oh no. I th- oh no. Like, I, 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 I just... You didn't watch it, never mind. I, yeah, I, I, thought, I just spoke for him and on why I don't watch it. I, I don't think I've ever said it's like bad. I haven't watched no, it. I thought, I thought Derek said it was bad. And so I was going to refute that. <laughs> Derek in the corner and got two pistols on him. Like, yo, yo, chill out, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> two guns, bitch. Yeah. Uh, Derek, we'll get, what have you been playing? Yeah, we'll get into Justice League next week. But uh, the only thing I've been playing is uh, I think... So, so I, I don't, I don't think it's a secret to say that my top ten games of all time are basically Metal Gear Solid games. No, or any. I don't think at all. <laughs> why, why would you think we would oh, not you, think? That? Yeah. <laughs> <Are> you just... <laughs> you must not have heard. What, what would give you such an impression, sir? <laughs> so, my top ten games of all time are basically Metal Gear Solid, except that Control recently. I've always said Control, when I got done playing Control, it made me remember how good video games can actually be. It, like, it made me remember that video games can be good. And the game I'm playing right now, in a weird, in a weird roundabout full circle way, I had told, I had told Storm about this game. And I was like, I, I, I've never played this game. I only heard about it, and I feel like it'd be up your alley. He played it, and he was like, this is fucking amazing. You need to play it. I was like, oh, well, shit. And so I've been waiting for this thing for, it's called Disco Elysium, right? And they recently just made a port for the PlayStation 4 and PS5 called The Final Cut, where everything is uh, voice acted now. And I've been waiting for it, waiting for it. I was getting hyped for it. I, I, I was telling Storm in the DM saying, like, man, I feel, I feel horrible because I, I'm so hyped for this game that if it even... Even if it even is like minorly inconvenienced me, I feel like it's just gonna shatter all my expectations and it just make me feel this like huge wave of depression. And you know what? This game has exceeded every expectation I've ever had. This is slow. It, 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 I've never, 
played a game like this before. It's like all at once, I finally understand Dungeons and Dragons in a way I've never been able to understand it before. I understand RPGs in a way I've never been able to understand them before. I understand books now in a way that I've never been able to understand them before. This game has radically, uh, uh, re, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it, it has radical, yeah. Uh, how I feel about RPGs in general. It is so fucking good. It is so fucking good. And my God, like the amount of like philosophy, the amount of like ideology that comes to this game, how it's like unafraid to throw these like real heavy political shit in front of your face or these real kind of moral conundrums that have no real fucking answer to it that leaves you with this this pit in the in the middle of your stomach making you feel bad about something but you're not quite sure what you're left there grasping for straws of your own sanity of your own morality of questions that you will never be truly be able to answer and it does it in such a in like way. The first hour. And it does it in such a way that allows you to go, you know what? I want to try to answer these questions differently from the way I attempted it. And each time you try to address the, each issue in a different way, you're, you're hit with something new. You yeah. learn a little bit more about the character and yourself and the world you reside in, which is such a full and fruitful world. I'm so glad you're enjoying it on such a level. Like, just, just to break it down for you guys, long story short, Disco Elysium is a game where you play as an amnesiac cop, right? After a apparently three-day bender of drugs and alcohol and God knows what else, he 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 wakes up from this primordial blackness, not remembering who he is, what is where he is, or nothing. He remembers nothing about nothing anymore, right? And it, it well, you got to get up. It's time to solve a case. Uh, there's been a body hanged outside for a whole week, and you got to figure out who the fuck did it. Otherwise, a lot of bad shit is about to go down, right? And you get and you get suited up with this partner named Kim, and it's it's like the best buddy cop film ever, right? Like from the get go, he's like this straight lace kind of guy, and you're this bumbling fucking idiot. Like one of the first things that happens is that. You basically uh, move around in your room, right? And you get to the mirror, and you have <laughs> you get to the mirror, and you realize <laughs> that you have this this shit eating grin of like fucking like oh, you can't even stop making this kind of fucking expression, can you? You you this is like some sad pathetic pathetic way to like have a puppy dog expression, and you have to do a skill check to stop the fucking expression. And more chances than not, you're gonna you're not gonna have the skill points ready necessary to actually figure out where this expression comes from or even to stop it happening. And there's something so poignant about that. And it was just, it, it like, it fucking just blew my mind, man. It, it's a really fucking good game. There's lots of cool, cool, interesting characters, like a fucking meffed up 12 year old in the backyard who, by God, I just want to fucking shoot in the fucking face. Wait, question, did you end up punching Kuno? So I'm ashamed to admit it. That's one of the only times I uh, I scum saved because I totally I totally fucking fell on my ass when I tried to punch him, <sighs> and Jeez. I could not I could not live with that shit knowing that this kid fucking got one over me like this. I was like, nah, nope. I'm fire fire emblem this shit. Nope. I get myself three times that I can scum save like bullshit happening, and this was definitely one of them. I can't. I, there's an option you can punch that kid right in the face. Cause he like started talking mad shit at you. No, he started saying like oh, he starts saying you're raping him because you keep yeah, talking. He's, he's screaming it. He's like, oh, the couple's trying to rape me, and like one of the options is like punch his ass to shut him up, to shut him down. <laughs> and first time I did it, I fucking ate dirt and everything, and I'm like, ah, oh, my fucking sides. I think my ribs are broken and shit. And he's just fucking laughing at you. I'm like, I can't do this. Nope. Start the game over. And the second time, I got us nailed him. Fucking beautiful. Wow. Kid was scared. Fuck Kuna. I hate that kid. So yeah, fucking you're going, I, fuck I, him. I get the distinct feeling. Always talking mad shit in his ear to get him hyped up about this shit. Yeah, Kuno is. I feel like you're going to have to come to really respect Kuno based off the playthrough you're having, though. I'm coming up for you. The last two games that really got me immersed were, of course, Persona 5. But other than that was um, Katana Zero <laughs> on you the Switch. Us. Yeah, yeah, that was the last game I really like. Got deeply involved in. 
Yeah, but this uh, is this is a whole different beast than Persona Five. Like, got to be real with you. The stories are just as hard hitting as Persona, but unlike Persona, it actually gets into the dirt of like what's going on with these characters and the connections they have with your uh, with, uh your copper. I'm not gonna lie, that's not my momentum. Uh, Storm. Yeah, with- uh, let's see. I've been playing. Uh, recently, I picked up. Uh, Tekken McCoy has had a sale on their game, so I picked up Samurai Warriors Four Two. Yeah, it makes sense of that one. I can't. Dynasty wait, Warriors. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. 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 Samurai War. <laughs> so hold up. So let me make sure I got the Samurai Warriors Four, and then, and then <laughs> Two. Yes. And then this is the sequel well, to, to Samurai, Samurai Warriors, Warriors 4. Four, but it's not Samurai Warriors Five. No, 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 no. I I actually kind of like that because like I hear that meme all the time where someone's like, wait, if uh like you know they'll take like a game like if Resident Evil Two is so good, why isn't there a Resident Evil Two Two? Or you know like just to me where like they say why isn't there a sequel? They're like, no, nah, we got you covered. <laughs> what what, what yeah. is Homestuck? Jesus Christ! Yeah, the the I the the guess I have for it is I think the Samurai Warriors team was trying to avoid the like. The degradation that happens in titles with Tecmo Koei Musou games that happen with Dynasty Warriors. So yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna remake four. Four was our best one. We're gonna just say, yo, we do what four did, but better. And no title. Just, just Samurai Warriors 4-2. Four, 4-2. Four, yep. And, and I've only played like the first couple missions, and so far I fucking love it. They I can kind of see how they got to the point where they was making the kind of games where we got Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors, where it's like they got the amount of complexity in their combat system. <laughs> I picked up Dynasty Warriors 7 Extreme Legends, and I picked up Warriors Orochi 4, or I think it's either 4 or 2. It was one of them, the recent Warriors Orochi, which is basically the big team-up game for the Samurai Warriors and Dynasty Warriors franchise that they made with their own, like, myth, uh, mythologized uh, universe. And they're pretty fun. 7 is what I expected. I was like the, that's like the last good Dynasty Warriors, and it's still just Dynasty Warriors. They never really expanded on the combat or changed many of the mechanics. Samurai Warriors, interesting. and Warriors Orochi is like they took the best of both worlds and created their own story. And like, I feel like they know what they were doing because like in the first mission, they bring the Lu Boos of both universes and make them fight like mission one. I'm like, all right, cool. I, I see where this is going. These people understand their fan base. I'm with it. Tadakatsu Hondo and Lu Boo got like a nice ass uh, interaction in the beginning. So I'm hyped. And I think I'm going to stream those games just to have something simple to play uh, in between Disco Elysium and uh, Stellaris, which is the other game I'm playing. The new Nemesis update came out, and they added espionage. They added um, a Become the Crisis, where you become like the big galactic threat and try to end the universe. And they allowed you. That's to, uh, actually really fucking cool. It is like they. Uh, I'll get into it. So I haven't tried that yet, but I'll get into it. And they added um, a new Galactic Imperium, which basically you can turn the big galactic senate you can form in the game, where you guys like work together to create um, basically a space UN. And if you gain enough power in the Senate, you can try to declare yourself Galactic Emperor of the Senate, a la uh, Palpatine style. And it's pretty solid. I've played so far two campaigns with the new mechanics. The espionage mechanics are kind of hokey, take too long, and they distract from other mechanics, but they have like some use cases. But the big takeaway is the Become the Crisis and the Imperium stuff because it's, it's a fun game to add a little mini game to what you're doing. Like you're trying to manipulate the Galactic. Um, powers to stand behind you and typically you want to use like the crisis mechanic to enforce that so like when the real end game crisis shows up hey guys we got to band together and we need a central authority yeah now we need a space army yeah now we need galactic trade sanctions yeah like you just slowly add more things so eventually go yeah i'm the galactic custodian we need a singular person to lead and then you go all right now i'm the emperor do something about it and it's pretty fun i enjoyed it the next campaign i plan on doing um They'll become the crisis mechanic, but that probably won't be until they release a patch because this, this new patch changed how population mechanics work. And now it went from you having like a galactic empire with thousands of xeno species uh, growing and developing on your worlds. And the recent changes have it just slowed it down. So by the time stuff really starts happening in the game, you don't have the, the population to support doing any big plays. The mining community is kind of like balanced it out a bit, but. When you use mods, you can't get achievements, and that's kind of sucky for me. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. Yep. 
That was really heady. God damn. Yeah. Oh, uh, and to close this out real quick, uh, I did watch uh, uh, several movies, but one I kind of want to talk about is I sat down and watched Waterworld. You guys know about Waterworld? Oh, oh yeah. Waterworld. I know about the game on Virtual Boy. I didn't Jesus finish. Christ. Wait, there's a game on Virtual Boy? <laughs> what? It, it, right? <laughs> and it's all red. <laughs> oh, no. So I watched know. Waterworld. Yeah, and it's like I've always heard how like, oh, it's terrible. It, it flopped at the box office. This was this this like destroyed the studio. This movie should never be made. And then I sit down to watch it, and it's like, yo, this is actually a solid movie. It's got a mm-hmm. great. You said what? I said it does look like shit. What the? the movie. Movie. I was quoting the movie. Oh, <laughs> uh-huh. like what? I like know. yeah. Yeah, from its time, it's um, it, it looked pretty good. The plot's decent. The villain's interesting and unique. Like it's it's just what I think. It's just pure uh, like what mid nineties action flick. Yeah, yeah. Overall, it's like a seven out of ten movie. Too much water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Twenty pence for the five minutes with the wee one. <laughs> No, Waterworld is a good movie. Kevin Costner does. I never thought I would see Kevin Costner in any kind of like action movie light and like think it was conv- convincing. But mm-hmm. the guy does an okay job. It's being like the loner protagonist and shit. I was mm-hmm. like, shit kind of works. I mean, sure, yeah, basically yeah. those kind of dances with wolves. But you know, it, it it works though. It works. Like if this was like a different universe, this man could have been Mad Max, probably. Yeah, it felt like it was Mad Max XC. It's like I was so interested. Like, man, I wish this had a guy like a sequel. So I would love to learn about like the other cultures that have sprang up in this new um, world we live in. Like, what other mountains have like land masses that people tried to survive on? Like, it's so much stuff I would love to check out from this universe. It's just like, yeah, we're never getting that. Oh my god, did Waterworld inspire uh, Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker? Shit, that makes sense. Yo, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yeah. Mm, I see. Yeah, what? Hmm? What? Wait, what? Mm. I... No, 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 no. I no, I know I heard you, but you know, <laughs> like, like I, I was, I was offended, kind of like, hmm, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then I said the first, kick, uh, the first uh, game kick, kick I was going. Call. What? Kick him from the call. Oh, wow. <laughs> if I was a big yeah. Zelda fan, I probably would have kicked you and that would have been how the podcast ended. No, no lie. Like, like I'm, I've never, never really seen the appeal. I want, I just, it wasn't for me. What? It right. wasn't for me. I just, it wasn't my type of thing where I would have got right. into it. But I, the fir- I am going to try a Zelda game. The, the one I want to try is Ocarina of Time. So I'm waiting for that to get remade on the Switch or whatever, and then I'm gonna buy it. That. So real quick, we we I think we all have a bone to pick with each other. Uh, Clay <laughs> clearly has a bone to pick with me when it comes to Justice League. Uh, no, uh, I, I just I just want to hear you rant on it. I, yeah. I, I'm not defending. Carl has a bone to pick about the <laughs> One Piece situation. I have a bone uh, to pick about Legend of Zelda. Storm, what, what what do you got a bone to pick here? Who, who you you gotta have some skin in the game here. We. So, the, the only one is a battle that I'm I'm, I'm exhausted and don't want to fight anymore. <laughs> it's, the, it's the bebop situation with Clay. That's about it. Like okay. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. no longer shocked by the things that come out of uh, Hen's mouth. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> uh, and we okay. we're in very different sectors of video games. So like I know anything he would have an opinion on that I would be passionate about. Like I doubt it exists there. <laughs> also, never saying that president. Story for nothing. Yeah, I mean, it was an okay movie. Wait, what movie? Dead, Pre- Dead, President. Dead President. I have no idea what the hell that is. Oh, man. You're not missing out. Not much. <laughs> Damn. It's not, it's not the greatest thing ever. It's just, this is an all right movie. <laughs> I'm glad that you brought that up in like the same vein of like that was the same as saying like I've never played Legend of Zelda though. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait let's see. Hold on, let's see. Wait, wait. Oh, Before you go ahead, thing. The black movies that I was either oh. extremely late to seeing or have not oh, okay. seen yet. 
<laughs> so wait, hold on. Before you get into your thing, uh, thoughts on the Fable series? <laughs> oh, see that we might have something here. We might have something. Here. Thoughts on the Elder Scrolls? Ever. <laughs> mm, Never played either one of them. See, I'm not. I feel like Derek's being contrarian. <laughs> I don't know what what how to take that from you here. I don't know. <laughs> I look like Fable would be my shit. You're right. Elder Scrolls, I'm gonna have a problem. Fable, you're right. Really? Yeah, no. We got our own race, man. You can play a red guard. Elder Scrolls is shit because who wants to play a fucking fantasy game in first person? <laughs> Uh, Let uh, alone made by Bethesda. <laughs> oh, I mean, anything Bethesda <laughs> made. Yo, so, see again, yo, he's just trying to bait yo, me right now. Yo, he's wow, trying to bait me right now. <laughs> yo, wow, but anything yo. made by Bethesda since Oblivion, yeah. But Bethesda ain't the greatest. You got a point. Like I'm not going to defend the company. Honestly, you can't defend the company. They've kind of shown their hand with Skyrim. They can't top that, and that's sad. Isn't Skyrim ported to like every everything you know? like three yeah. times over, and they ain't shown shit for the next one because they can't they can't top it and they don't want people to be pissed at them like they were with Fallout. Yeah. And Skyrim wasn't that damn great. It was entertaining, but it wasn't great. But I think, uh, oh wait, before we close out, uh, where are you at in Cowboy Bebop? I haven't watched since I got the last update. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, though. We we trying to get to this movie, though. Yeah, knocking on heaven's door. And uh, this is I bet. So this has been the Self Made Monsters podcast, episode four. The Phantom Menace. (laughs) We are not the Phantom Menace. (laughs) This is not the new hope. Yeah, wouldn't that be a what? new hope? Yeah, this would, yeah. It would be a new hope, yeah. Phantom Menace is episode two. Dark Wall is cool. No, Phantom Menace was episode one. Yeah. Yeah. But we all know The Last Jedi was the best one. Yeah, I oh, might get you choked out by a ghost. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> As a, I'm willing to die on this hill. The Last you Jedi is because Ryan I... Johnson is the savior of Star Wars. The rest of y'all niggas can suck my dick. <laughs> That's what we end in the podcast with right there. <laughs> I'm willing to argue that fucking Prisoner of Azkaban is the best. <laughs> hey, I thought you were about to say the best Star Wars. I was like, yeah, I'd suck it, Derek. Kick him from the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have got you kicked. Like, what? The Chamber of Secrets is the best Harry Potter film. Real talk. We about to have them Potterheads coming after us, man. <laughs> I'm house Hufflepuff. Hey, and besides, it's of course you are. And besides, it's the Goblet what? of Fire. It's the best Harry Potter movie. Shut the fuck up. Fight me. <laughs> fuck that movie. That's when the shit. That's when shit got real. You a God fucking liar. My my movie debuted the fucking Dementors. Who gives a shit? That was a one and done, motherfucker. No, Chamber of Secrets when it got real. Kids were getting killed in Chamber of Secrets. The yeah, but it was still isolated. It. it was still isolated to the school. Goblet of Fire is when we saw Voldemort show the fuck up and start Jesus fucking with shit. Every fucking Harry Man, Potter fuck movie. them kids. <laughs> hey, we done talking about EDP. <laughs> <laughs> no correction. That's what a podcast oh, is in. <laughs> oh, oh shit. shit.